Welcome to Bowls Vic TV. Uh, my name's Gus McIsaac. I'm a member of Bowls Vic's board and uh, also a bowling member at Yarraville Footscray. Um, we're down here at Altona for a big game today, getting to the getting to the uh, that cutting point of the season where ga all games matter. Uh, we're at the Altona Sports Club to see Bandura take on Altona. I'm ably joined here by two commentators today. One's prettier than the other. One's bigger than me. So uh, we've got Chris Ball here from the Deer Park Bowls Club. Welcome Chris. And Tris, Tris Dolan from uh, MCC. Welcome Tris. Thanks Gus. Yeah, thanks for coming along today. It's, uh, I know the weather looks a bit inclement and we're, uh, we're lucky if we'll get through the game, but I think we will. Oh yeah, right now it's looking like good condition because there's no wind around. If the, if the, if the uh, rain holds off, it's actually a perfect night for bowls, really. Yeah. And it's a pretty exciting game to be involved with, really. It Bandura is. v Altona. So we've got hours and hours to chat today, so we'll get in. Chris will introduce the uh, playing uh, lineups. Yeah, no worries, Gus. I'll get stuck in. So uh, our live stream rink tonight, we have Altona's rinker, Lenny Callis, Shane Herring, Colin Davis and David Ferguson. And for Bandura we have Brad Schwarzer, Nathan Mills, Damon Victoria and Dino Mills. Now just quickly run through the other rinks. Uh, the other rinks. Nathan Wilson is playing Luke Ayala. Here yeah, tonight on show, so... You might want to run through that again, this one. Chris. Missed that one, we did had you? you on mute. Oh, Can you just well, run through that? Sorry, apologies, mate. everyone. That's all right. I'll run through the uh, the rinks here again yeah. tonight. Yeah. Lenny Callis, Shane Herring, Colin Davis, David Ferguson for Altona. And for Bandura, we have Brad Swartzer, Nathan Mills, Damon DeFlorio, Dean O'Neill. Just quickly run through the skips on the other rinks. Nathan Wilson playing Luke Aiello. Nick Cahill playing Gary Kelly. And Dane McKinnon playing Josh Corliss. So should be a really ripping match tonight, guys. Yep. It's, uh, it's going to be a good one. As you said, the uh, bowler's friend is not wind, so we haven't got that today. No, it's a good night, that's for sure. Just going through the ladder, Gus. Uh, Bandura second, Altona fifth. Uh, immediately the first thing that comes to mind is uh, Altona have their backs against the wall, don't they? Uh, really need results to go their way if they want to make the top four, and it starts tonight. Yeah, well, they're in that, they're in that group uh, of three, three or four. Um, there's a couple of teams in there. Uh, there's Melbourne, uh, Yarraville, uh, Altona, and Clayton. Four teams actually vying for that fourth spot, really. Um, I don't know uh, if you've done your ladder predictor yet. I, I did do mine the other day. I won't say <laughs> how it came out. <laughs> no, definitely. It's, there's a lot of good teams, and it's going to go down to the last round. I, I'd I, love to, um, to hear Triss's thoughts on both these sides. Uh, yeah. Maybe an early prediction as the players uh, do their last team huddles. Oh, that's a big call, Chris. Um, I just, I, they're both obviously very, I play against them. They're both very talented teams. Uh, you know, you've got, uh, you've got some big names there with Gary Kelly and Dave Ferguson playing. Obviously, El Tona have got Ben Twist out tonight because yep. he's away on Australian duties. And they're missing a couple of other players, I think one with COVID and one with a wedding. But yep. I think they have a lot to play for for tonight. Yep. And um, I'm going to... I think Altona might just make it over the edge, right? Okay. Yep. Home ground advantage. Yeah, what about you, Gus? Um, yeah, it's been so even this year. It's, it's been very tough to pick. Yeah, it has. Um, especially in that middle group. You can see the top probably two or three teams have broken away now. Deer Park, uh, MCC and, and Bandura. MCC yeah. had a good win, a narrow win yes, uh, last week against yeah. Yarraville. Yeah. And that sort of gave them a bit of jump up the ladder. So those three have sort of skipped away a little bit. Yeah, it's still, like MC, we've still got to do our job on the weekend. Like, <laughs> we've still got to win at least one of the games out of the two, yep. hopefully both on the double. These double headers can be brutal. They can be great or they can be brutal. I was going to ask you both about the double headers. I mean, we sport them in, was it last year was the double headers came in? Yes. Pro proved yep. to be very pivotal yep. for some teams. Mm. Some teams... Uh, I think it was MCC were struggling early last year and won all their double headers. Bang, 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 you know? Yeah, they were good for us. Yeah. Yeah. Deep Park, Chris? Oh, look, I think double headers uh, make or break almost any yeah. side, including the sides at the bottom of the ladder. Yeah. Fighting for True. relegation, so. True. Because there's no time, if you get belted on a Saturday, there's no time for regroup, is there? Yeah. There's no breathing in this, this um, company. No, that's true. These double headers, though, they bring in a whole different thing around bowls. With um, you know, so people have got to be fit. You've got to you've got to be ready to go over two days over sometimes very hot weather. It's pretty taxing. So we're into the game. 
Yeah, here we go. Brad Schwarzer leads off. Sets the tone, look at this. Gee, that's a good start. It just goes to show the quality of these greens here. Uh, Dave Zitters does a fantastic oh. job. Green should be running about 14 at the moment. Obviously, we'll slow down as the night goes on, but these players will have no, no problems adjusting. Should be a high-quality start to this match. Mm. I haven't played here yet. We play here in the last game of the year. Um, Fantastic there, Lenny. But it's a beautiful green, and uh, but it is a shorter green, isn't it? Or is yeah, that my imagination? No, it's definitely shorter playing in this direction. Yeah, I think when um, Altona put this deck in that we're sitting on right now, right. they lost a couple of metres off the green. We played our first round here and noticed that it was a bit shorter. What stands out for me straight away looking at this rink is the two skippers. Uh, David Ferguson, you know, New South Wales State skipper and uh, Pathway Jackaroo, yeah. Dean O'Neill. It's, uh, it's a big game for his uh, bowls resume. He'd like to have a, good, you know, a win over, over David. So He would. I think when I looked up some uh, Dave's part, I think he has played represented Australia um, in in the the odd thing, but he certainly was very much in the mix. Um, but he's been a really good player, um, and we could talk about some of the fly-ins um, yeah. later on or, or now. But I mean, he's been a really good asset. He's been a winner for them, hasn't he? Yeah, I mean, Ferg was ranked number one in Australia, I think, in 2018. He right. won the Australian indoors, which pushed him through to number one bowler. So he's certainly talented. And I think he came through the juniors, didn't he, in it for Australia? Yep. Yeah. So we see all the players getting their weight pretty much straight away. Nathan wasn't too far away then. So Lenny Keller sitting on the... Uh, yep. Got two in there. Was uh, actually played against this rink last weekend, um, only missing... a. Chopper Reed there, who was playing third last week. Bob has gone up from lead to third. So, yeah, I think I think Shane Herring the second last week was definitely their best player. Yeah. Uh, I think David likes to play quite an attacking game because the scores were so close last week. He he wasn't able to do that. Yep. Which probably affected his ability to influence the match a little bit. So I'm looking for him today to be able to play his shots. And I played against Dino's rink the week before. Um, I think it was pretty much the same. Um, and, uh, you know, very solid rink, been playing well all year. Just building the head early here. We'd like to just want to stay up, which I think it will. Gives yeah. Altona a back bowl. Gives him some options, I guess. Well, there is room up on the forehand with weight there under those two bowls. Looks like that's that's what they're favouring. Are you a big fan of playing these sort of shots early, or you just? I, I probably would be on the yeah. first end. Uh, yep. My skipper, on the other hand, likes to get his draw going. So yep. it all depends uh, what kind of player you are. But I do. I guess if you play it early and something goes wrong, there's plenty of time to fix it. So that's one positive. Yeah. I'm sure, there's a few negatives, but that's one positive I look at. Let's have a look at Damo's. He plays these pretty well. He's close. Just. Right. Got to get down. Oh, he's opened that up. Yeah. Cleared some room there. Good effort. I think sometimes playing those shots early sends a message too to yeah. the opposition that they know that they're going to have to get some back yeah. bowls early. You know, yeah. they might waste a bowl taking cover. Yep. Yeah. Someone always said to me is when you're playing three, even if you don't get what you want, change something. Yep. Yeah. You know. And he's certainly done that. He's left. He, he, they can play different weight to that bowl now. He's done his job there. Yeah, mm. they can virtually play a foot of weight, can't they, Chris? Yes, yeah, so we'll see what Bubba mm. does. Might play their shot first, mm. you know. Yeah. It's an interesting change for for Colin Bubba. He was uh, leading last week, you know, and to step up and play three is not not easy. So we'll mm. see how he adjusts. You do see that versatility in the Premier, don't you? Yep. You know, you've got people who've been skipping for years, leading, and vice versa, you know, switch, they can switch them around. Yeah, you'd like to think that everyone can play all the shots. Most positions, yeah. yeah. It's not far away it's here, I reckon. Close now. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, That's a great shot. What a shot. That's a good shot. Jack hangs around, so at least one there. It's a good conversion uh, on the first end. 
And you can see the weight he played with that. His bowls pro it would have... I think his bowl stayed up, didn't it? I oh, know, touch her in the ditch, so he's good. Just trying to turn the front blue here. I think he's just pushed it out a little wide, so... Yeah, just make, was good. making sure he's up. Yep. It's going to have some value back there. No, no, it's gone in. That's what we're saying about this green. It runs so well, mm. you know. It's very deceiving. The length yeah. is... It, it probably it feels like it runs two seconds quicker than what it is. That's true. Right. Mm. I've only played it the other way. Lots of people here watching tonight. This is a good crowd we've got here sitting up on the balcony. Yeah, it's great to see the Friday night games get a bit of a crowd to come watch, isn't it? Look, it is. Oh, and turned their ball up. I think. Still one note. We're just experimenting this year, I guess, you know, in a lot of different things at Bowles Vic, just trying to do a few different things. Mm -hmm. um, and one of them I think we found this year, Tris, is the Friday night games have been very popular. Our, our crowd numbers have been up and uh, everyone knows this game Friday night. Yeah, that's good. Hi, Sarah. Sarah's just commented on the speed of the green. It's not too bad, Sarah. It's probably about 14, to answer your question. Yeah. Okay. They're liking it. Yeah, he's trying to turn Lenny's up there. Or he might get around it, you know. Well, that's an excellent shot yeah. for, for no result. Pretty funny last week. Uh, Virgo takes his line off the peg and... All dog and pebbles, he was on the peg <laughs> almost every end, I reckon. So he's already told the boys once tonight. We'll keep an eye on that. Start a little side tally. <laughs> yeah. Well, the players are not used to a few different things on the TV rinks. It's a bit of an experience for some of them. These guys are a bit experienced with it. Dino, uh, what looks like he's been to the barber today. <laughs> Got himself all smooth. Probably has. Yeah. yeah. Got I his spray tan done. He's ready to go. I noticed that up at Moama last week, the BPL. They were all very sharp, the boys mm. Mm, and the girls. Yeah. Good so exhibition for our game. Pretty extended conversation between De Dean and uh, Damo. Reason being is uh only had a few seconds, so... See if Fergo can play through that front dark blue one. Could, could make a number here on the first end. This is that attacking style of game I was talking to you about. Yeah. Is he going to grip? Yeah, these Tiger 2s, which yeah. Ferg is using, have a bit of swoop on mm. them. See that turn then? It's the one. As I'll apologise before the game, or as the first end starts, about me doing the scores, I'll try my best. Keep up with everything. So the first end can always be, you know, a, a, a teams feeling each other out, can't they, Tris? They're just to get the green, especially if you're the away team coming in. Yeah, I think so. Although these roll-ups before the game have changed some of that. Yeah. That's been handy. What do you think about these roll-ups before a pennant match? Well, the way I understand it is that they had it to take away... The, the thing that, you know, people, you know, would want to come and have a, you know, a role and they couldn't get on greens for various different reasons. So I think the, the thought process was let everyone have a roll up together. Um, I'm a big fan, to tell yeah. the truth. Yeah. I've even rolled up with my opposition um, on the same rink. Um, yeah, same. You know, I, the fraternity of the bowls, you know, we're all mates, really. We know each other off the green. I tell you what, have a look at these two. Mm. Like, they've come to bowl, haven't mm -hmm. they? Yeah, Lenny means business. Yeah. A m very improved role of Brad Short. So he's worked on his game very hard, I know, over the last two or three years. He's, uh, become well, he's certainly nailing this. Yeah. yeah. He's becoming a bit scary. Yeah, it's good leading. Mm. Lenny's up for the challenge. Lenny might have played the most games on the green, do you think, here? Oh, without a doubt, mate. Yeah. He's got all the experience. And look at this. International experience. And look experience. at this. What a bowl. Fantastic wow. Great shot. Man, we have a game here tonight. We always get the good one, though. They're all good.
And of course, good front ends set up good heads, set up good games. Excellent weight there from the second. It's very unfortunate to turn that shot ball over. Yeah, he's result. finished in a fantastic spot. He's, they call Millsy the mailman, I think. He always delivers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard that one. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's a goodie. It's pretty good. Yeah. They love him. He's a bit of a character, I think. When I first heard that, I thought he was a postie, but no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see how he delivers here. Bowl into bowl. Looking for a bit of connection. Okay, so he switched hands here. Yep. yep. He's done pretty well. Should got to get down. Oh, it's not. It's interesting, watching Fergo's bowl going away on that same hand turned a lot more. Watching it, I expected it to turn, but different bowls. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's those Tigers. The Tiger yeah, twos. Yeah, There's it's quite a wide bowl. Often used for the indoors, yeah? Okay, yep. I believe that the Commonwealth Games guys have been all got sets of tourney bowls uh, there. I was out with Jay Barry, I think, out at Dandenong, and he had some, um, yes, you know, taking some tourney bowls. On those slower greens. Yeah. I think they're preparing for like 11 seconds in Birmingham. Funny they just couldn't put a faster green in. I don't know. Weather dependent. Probably something to do with the weather, I'd say. Yeah. Guess, but, uh, what about those indoor tournaments I watch over in England where it all looks, you know, they're throwing them out in these big tourney bowls. What a bowl. Yeah, it's a great shot yeah. there. Good second there from Damo. Changes the head up a bit. I think if you get a home com games, you want to prepare it to your yeah. your nations Strengths. or your teams. Why yeah. let the Australians Strengths. have it? Yeah, yes, don't give the Australians their speed. All the best to everyone up there, trialling for those teams at the moment. We're, We're in our very good hands in this country. We have some yeah. fantastic players. And I'm sure they'll do us all proud up there. Well, it's the accumulation of... Uh, of a couple of years for these players, they've all been working hard for it, and this is their time to shine, to go up there, and and uh, not everyone can make it, of course, Tris. You, yeah, you'd know about that with state duties for Victoria. Yeah, like it's anything like that. It's all relative, isn't it? You've got to go and put out your yep. put your best foot forward, yep. and hope that you get selected. And you know, oh, I'm thinking about them all. Pretty you close know, here, trialing. Brother. Yeah, he's close. Oh, wow, well. still a good shot. Lovely weight. They don't just work on their bowls. I'm just thinking about that. They've had to work on their fitness yep. and their mental strength. and yep. it's, a, it's a lifestyle. Yep. It is for a lot of them. Mm. They give up a lot. Yeah, a lot of sacrifices. Now, will this swing? Not from what we saw on the other one. Yeah. Good weight. Yeah. What's Damo using? Damo's got the... Hero Evolves. Yeah, that's right. Same as Dina. Slightly narrower than the Optimus, I think. Yep. That's two for the peg tally. Is that the two? I missed the else. first one. <laughs> Just looking, looking to get another one close here, Bubba. Well, I feel a bit for the players because they're trying to stay out of the way of the cameras, but they've got to stay off the peg as well. Yep. Just the pace. His line was very good, so... It's not wasted back there. Never know. Need some movement on that front bowl, uh, Dean, here, just to spring the jack out, give him something something to see for his next one. The old two-bowl plan. One roll on Damos, does that do it? Or is it, a, is it pop it out? Yeah, it's hard to tell from this angle. He definitely needs some movement on that front one. He's got a fair pretty well. line. It's going to duck. It's another one waiting. Gee, that's a good side. Yep. They look to have uh, nearly five seconds, but very difficult to remove that shot ball. Yeah, just sort of... Very frustrating, these ends, aren't they? Yeah, one ball. Yeah. How do you click that out clean? I'm not sure that you can. No. It's sort of locked in a bit by those balls behind it, too. Yeah.
But if someone can do it, I think Dino can do it. <laughs> I've seen him do some stuff. No doubt. Probably just adds weight to the line he just played. Which he... It's still going to duck, I think. And he did add weight. Good effort. Yeah. Got some people watching. Yep. I'll just watch Ferg's last bowl. Mm. Take the one and run, they say. Yeah. Yep, got some people watching, got some comments there. We've got young Rocky White from MCC just saying it's a great night. It is a great start to the Friday night, Lockie. Good to yep. see you on board. So if anyone's watching tonight on your Facebook, uh, I'm a bit of a boomer these days. I don't understand a lot about these Tash shares and stuff like that. But uh, if you're out there and you can share it with your group and get some more people watching. We're getting some good numbers in, but uh, share the game around. Um, feedback we've had is, uh, you know, it's uh, very entertaining to watch. So get your friends and family watching. I've been out there talking to some people and they've all been watching. It's great. Yep. It's great for our sport. Yeah. Yeah, really good innovation. Very solid start again, Lenny. He's timeless, really. Amazing. I just took the cans off to have a listen. There's a bit of chatter. Yeah, it's, it's I'll not quiet. I'd have to say it's when both these teams played us, it was much, much louder. <laughs> um, but uh, it's only early yet. <laughs> yes, maybe they're just working up, yeah. working it up to get fired up. But as so we see uh, Lenny come in here again, yeah, that's excellent, Lenny. Great bowling, mate. Machine. I just looked up to make sure the green wasn't called the Lenny Callis green, but it's the Jim Stevens Memorial green. What, what's happened there? I'm sure Jim was a great bowler. Maybe one day for Lenny. That's it. It's just a comment here, uh, Gus, that Simon Norton's just said that uh, that's how you led last week oh. and that you gave him a bit wow. of a lesson. Wow. I think Norts goes all right, just quietly. You, you got a few in the bank, Simon. I've got a few <laughs> to catch you, mate. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Oh, Emma's watching from Mildura. Welcome, oh, Emma. Great. Nice to see you on board. Congratulations on your win during the week for the mixed pairs. I saw that. Good job. Yep. Emma's um, also a Victorian representative. Oh, great. She was in Tassie last year. Yeah, well, it's been a busy year and there's lots to come. There's a lot on, that's for sure. People that are playing regionals and club games and double headers. Well, I've been trying to get you down here for a couple of months, so I finally got ahead of your schedule. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's been good, Gus. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, Nelson's on board too. He says hello. Chris. Hello, Nugs. There you go. Nuggets. Well done beating Dad in the uh, <laughs> semi final of the club singles, mate. <laughs> How many shots was it? Yeah, 25 20. So it's a good I've game. Just been waiting for him to log in to say that. Hope Dad's not listening. <laughs> Well done, Nelson. Well, you did say last time we were together that Nelson was the best ball. If you ask me, yet. he's the best ball, yep. Okay. Well, he's, he's beaten one. He's Has beaten he one. Has he beaten the other yet? He hasn't beaten me yet. No. <laughs> so I don't but, want to jinx it. But don't play that. him. Don't play I him. I never want to play him again. <laughs> <laughs> Just on that, he did say earlier, Nelson, that if the green was a bit quicker, yeah. Gary probably would have won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We all have our strengths. <laughs> Millsy here is, jeez, uh, that's a fantastic shot. Posty. That is a delivery, a great delivery. After the jack was opened up. He's had a really good season from what I understand. He has. He's and they, really and they just they love him. You can, he, he's he's yeah. one of those guys that ignites the team. You can see when he plays well, they all love yeah. it. Because they can yell out. And so he started at Bundura. Right. Went, went to Hurstbridge for a while. Yep. He's been back at That's Bundy right. for a few years now. Yep. 
Good to see the development of the younger players there. We've had a few there now for quite some time. Joshy Callis, Jack Woodhouse. Yep. Ben Hubber, you know, and the and then Millsy and, and Liam Turner as well now. So yeah. Well, Benny's not homegrown there though, is he? Is he Glenroy boy? He's played there for a while now. Yeah. 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 And oh, he has. Yeah. Yep. They had Mac there for a while as well. Yep. Of course, she's gone back over to Tasmania, but she was in the side for yep. a few years. Had pretty good weight there, Bubba. Just had to clear the front, so. A bit stiff. Yeah, no, no back balls are hurting them at the moment. So, see what Damo can do. Very deliberate. Oh, he's an excellent player, Damon. Superb weight control. We don't talk footy, do we, Tris? <laughs> I'm talking footy tonight. Not yet. I don't think the Tigers play till tomorrow, so... Well... Goes, he's played this pretty well, yeah. He's got a really nice gap through here. He's, he's got it. played he's this well. Started. What a shot. Oh, he's oh. very unlucky. Well, oh, he's probably he's probably five down, but... Wow. Um, but he couldn't have played that much better. So, drawing for six here. Make it very difficult for David to get him... It well, that's an excellent bowl. They really, I know, you know, the the ones that count. Those when you get a bit of luck, you've got to make sure you add that extra one. Oh, you know, yeah. So I hugely important. Yeah, yeah. I guess Fergo here, like he, he doesn't really get the shot, but he, he needs to minimise the number. I'd say third shot. He'd would be, be good. happy with third here. Third shot would be good. Yep. Mm, that's that's the third. Point. Get off the peg with Herd. And he's playing <laughs> three ends. He's not drawing, mate. Oh, he is that way. He's coming the other way. Okay. So yep. Well, he's got two to sit on. Yeah, he's got two to sit on. Yeah. yeah. He's not he far away. That is a great bowl. Wow, oh, those turning bowls. Man. Those that turning is a fantastic what a bowl. shot. Bowl. Second shot. Yeah. Six down to one down. And that, that, that is what you want your skipper to do, isn't it? All right. That's what he's paid for. That's it. That's why he gets big bucks. Brilliant shot there, Fergo. Dino can still get that to that kitty on the forehand and move that a bit and make a fall. Fraction heavy, that's all. Yeah. His line was good. As a skip, you know, you probably only get two or three situations when you're that many down, so... Mm -hmm. and Fergo's definitely ticked the box as early. Um, yep. He's going to save a number this end, no doubt about it. I haven't seen the skips fail too much this year, I'm afraid, Chris. <laughs> Quality's very good. Quality's man. very good. Mm. Is he just getting some cover, do you think? Probably. He's probably trying to... Yeah, maybe. Splits yeah. the back bowls, yeah. you know. Mm. Yeah, the hurts at the back. Yeah. I still think Dino will be playing a more delicate trail, just trying to get onto that the kitty. If he clears this, Move he's close. He if he close. clears this, he's close. He's got <gasps> oh, it. Oh, so there you go. Wow. That is a big bomb. I did call it Looks two. like four. You did call it, guys. Fantastic call it for well, it's better than six, but it's a fantastic shot it's by Dino. and uh, Setting the standard. That was a very difficult shot. It's The quality's been scary tonight. Like, scary good. Good conditions. Give good bowlers good conditions, Tris. That's it. What do you get? An exhibition. Yeah. Yeah, got that, Jody. I thought it was Liam. I was, uh, wasn't quite sure. Got it. Oh, oh Kelly. Kelly's up and about. Yeah. He's... 
running Jeez. all over the place. He must have played a bomb over there. He's firing up now, <laughs> he isn't it? He loves it, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, Benny Hubbard's been skipping that rink, so he steps back when Gary's here, and Benny's done a fantastic job um, managing that rink while uh, Gary's not here. Four shots to Gary, great conversion. Yeah. How many down was he? Do you know? One down. Okay, five shots. So he's one down and gets four. Dino makes four. They're big numbers early, aren't they? They are. <laughs> Your dad has just chirped in here, Chris. Oh. Three Muppets on commentary. <laughs> yeah, love you too, Gaz. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I'd expect nothing uh, less from Mackers. Exactly. Good reply from Lenny. These leads are just nailing it. He's not going to leave that hanging out. He's just going to grab that kitty if he can. Tuck it in. Good positive bowls. Yep. The people at home, some people might think, why isn't he just drawing more delicately? But in this level, you can't leave those things sitting out there like that. It will be got. Yeah, you try and play their shot, yep. don't you? Always, trying to get that kitty yeah. back. See how the mailman, what's he going to deliver today? I think the actual postie at Bundura is actually Liam Turner. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. We can call him that, though. Yeah. Yes, he's having a... He delivers, too. He does. <laughs> There's so many different names going around, isn't there? Yeah. So. yeah, everyone's got about three different names, yeah. haven't they? Depending on what day it is. Yeah. <laughs> Good effort, just not quite reaching. You're looking to reach here with a nice yard of weight. Trail to Brad's bolt. But we're just lacking the speed for that shot. Hit the line, hit the line though, so... It did. Hmm. He actually gave it pretty good plumage, I thought. I just turned on him. I think we're seeing it slow down already, Gus. I was yeah. just thinking that, Chris. Yep. I had it on good uh, good advice that it was 7.14 was the exact time, but we're a bit past that. Oh, wow. Nice that worked. That did work. So there's always a time for every green, isn't there, Tris? Apparently. 7.14. 7.14 and 33 seconds, I think it was. Okay. These green keepers, they now have it they down to a T. <laughs> they know their business. <laughs> it was from a green keeper? It was. Mm. Similar shot that Millsy was playing. Trailer Jack, he's scoring here. Yeah, a little bit. He's probably playing a little bit softer so he can stay up if he misses, yeah. hopefully. It's a fair attempt. It is, isn't it? That's, that's a shot. beautiful uh, that's a great shot. Now, that's the good example of what we were talking about, taking the shot away. Yeah. Because if Altona did that, it's very difficult to get to. Yeah, and then all of a sudden... Under a three down. Yep. If turn it Even it. if he gave the shot away to Lenny, it didn't matter. Yeah. But he didn't. He played beautiful way. Fergo's looking for a fraction more weight from Bubba. I'd say at least each weight he called for. Wants uh, some movement on the front bowls so he can see the jack. Probably a three ball target there to hit. Gets a good look at it for his next one. Yeah. 
I think Damo's trying to do here, just tap one of their bowls up, come through yeah. those blue. Just change the look of that head a little bit. Yeah. Just onto one of Millsy's. Okay. Oh. All right. It's it's better. I know I know they're down, it's better. Yeah, <laughs> they're calling go. it, they're there saying <laughs> it's dangerous. Yeah. That blue is just sitting there alone. That's it. Pop that blue out, that's it. They've got three or four Bandura, that is. Just a little bit more. Yeah, he's taking the extra grass. Just close. Yeah, he's just going to hold up a bit. Just didn't have the weight. Mm. Might offer a bit of protection there. Yep. Um, a bit yep. harder to yep. get that uh, dark blue ball out now, so not a bad shot. We'll have to play through those front ones, hope for a good result. On the forehand? Definitely more options. You can get the Look, outside of the, yeah, the white and blue one. Yeah, more demos, yeah. yeah. Could be pretty solid at this one. Angles look okay for them. Yeah, playing that swingy weight. Not far away. Nearly back cut the blue. Yeah, it was a great attempt. Yeah, he nearly did, didn't he, on the edge? Do you reckon, do you reckon that swung a bit? It did. I thought, did. Yeah. I thought no, he's going to get the outside barrel. So. Yeah. Oh, there's another one on the peg, Chris. <laughs> Is that five? Every end so far. <laughs> Chris, so <laughs> yeah, they're still trying to. So, does he add more weight or does he take more grass? His weight was good. His weight was good, I think. I think he just needs to clip Damo's bowl. You just don't a little want bit to more throw grass. it out a bit. Well, I think where Ferg's put his bowl is probably a yeah. good spot yeah. now too. So it changes things for Dean maybe. Mm. Play perfect weight. He's gone out a little bit. Yeah, so he's kept the same weight. And will it swing? Now it won't. It's an annoying thing. Can be. You're putting this in his pocket. I would think, guys. Yeah, he's taken the one, so. Yeah. The quality not, start. Not much good could come from drawing to that, I don't think. Welcome yes. on board, Benny. Yep. We Benny don't pick them, we just get selected. <laughs> Bit of fun with the old crew, us three. Yeah. Well, we all played bowls together. We did. Many years ago, didn't we, Chris? Wasn't that long ago, guys? So no. We had some great, great <laughs> memories. So. Feels like ages ago. It does. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Hope you're well, Ben. Hope Caitlin's well and the whole family. Faye and Graham, say hello for us. I saw Faye and Graham celebrated a big anniversary there. Not that long ago, yeah, so congratulations. Hmm. So this is the first ditch to ditch, mm -hmm. even though it's still not long, long, because no, it's it not a bit green. But it looks three quarter, doesn't this it? This is the longest they've played, yeah. Right. Yes, up! Yes, up! Yeah, Kelly just yeah. drawn to the ditch on the rink next door. Pretty hot start over there from Gaz. Yeah, 
Andy stop, right? It's a good adjustment to the extra long. Yep. I'm sure Lenny will adjust here too. He looks to have added. Just got to clear his own blue bowl. Yes, he has. What a great bowl, awesome Lenny Callis. Yeah. You're awesome, mate. Another four to Gary Kelly, so... That's the start you want, isn't yes. it? Yes. Definitely started well there. That's a fairly good reply. Oops. Happy home. I mean, as well as Benny Hubbard's played skipping this year, you, you never mind when you hear Gary's coming, do you? He steps back and plays three to a great bowler. You learn a few things. Yeah, it's just know. great for the competition overall, mate. Yeah. To see these quality players, that's how the rest of us are going to get better. Yep. Yeah. The good things can happen for bowls in the state. And it brings in our northern neighbours viewing. I mean, they hear their players are coming down here to play. They go, what's going on down there? And they're starting to watch and get involved. That's true. You know, and, and start to take notice. Yep. Of I was talking to someone the other day from Darwin that's been watching. And yep. it's good to see it going national. Yep. Yes, welcome, Lloydo. Uh, yes, it probably is getting past my bedtime. <laughs> saying I've got a big game tomorrow, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've seen your schedule, Tris. I don't know how you, still don't know how you fit us in tonight. <laughs> Maybe no sleep. All nighter. Nah, no, too old well for that. Too old. Thank well. you. Okay. Bowls is too important, mate. Yeah. Big yeah, couple of cool. games coming up. Do what you like if it's singles, but when you're playing for your team, That's it. yeah, you got to keep play your best. He cleared it. Yep. No one's really found it yet, but mm. that's what happens, I guess, when you change the length. And change the length and a slight speed coming off the green. Yeah. I True. think it's a double whammy. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny um, threw this, didn't he? Yeah. So this is a bit of a tactic. I think they'd do at this stage of the 7.14 at night. Go so long. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah. Ferg probably realised it was called past seven. <laughs> 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 It's the funny things people do and think. But if you win, it works. That's right. You've got to do it again. <laughs> Just how crucial the leads are. That was... Yeah. We've seen you know, nearly eight bowls go down. No one's really got close. So Super important a lead, especially in a game of pennant. What do they say? The front end determines if you win or lose and the back end determines yeah. by how much. Yeah. Really, you don't lose many games if your lead's on. Yep. No, if there's anyone out there watching who thinks that front ends don't count, oh. um, it, it, it's not right. The lead would have to be one of the first picks, I would have thought. <laughs> well, the game's changed so much in the last 20 years. Um, when I was leading 20 years ago for... Oh, it's just pretty close here. What a oh, shot. Oh, wow. Shot. Awesome. Stand up and be counted there, Damo. Wow. I was always told, just put a bowl of the foot away, two bowls of foot away, we won't drop sevens. That was my job. <laughs> Set the bar high for you. Yeah. I think I, think I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, things have changed a lot Things for you have then. Cha changed a lot, yeah. Get them close. Be all over at front touches. Yeah. Is he down? Oh, it's a great yeah. effort. That's good a shot, good Bubba. Shot. It's a beautiful bowl. Hmm. Good correction. You can't get the shot. That's position eight. I've been very impressed with this man this year. He's really stepped up. Demo. Yeah. DeFlorio. Yeah. Oh, he's a fantastic player, Gus. Yeah. You know, he 
he used to skip not that long ago yeah. before he moved to Bandera and yeah. I, I, I played against him one day I believe out of Burwood and I, I said to somebody he had the best weight control I, yeah. I'd, I'd, I've ever yeah. seen somebody play with yep yeah. Um, so I, I rate Damien, Damo very highly. And I probably hadn't seen enough of him. I always thought he was one of their, you know, bit players here, but he's certainly not a bit player um, at all. He's, uh, he's he could easily skip it yes. at any other Premier League club. Super he's probably one of those understated players that just gets on with the job, doesn't he? Really? Well, he's just the ultimate team guy. Yeah. He doesn't stand around saying, I want to play here. We were, you, if you told Damo to be water boy for the day, he'd do a fantastic job at that. That's what you want. Yeah. Team man. Yeah. Quite a formidable side they've assembled here, Bundy. So what are Bandura holding here at two? Is that right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Two Mate, three. Could, could be three with yeah, the, that all. wide one, yeah. Hard to tell on the angle. Yeah. Soon to be four if he slides off net. Oh. From far away? No. Another one, one of those ends where he's just got to try and draw second here. Yeah, Ferg's been under a bit of pressure yep. actually early. <laughs> How's he look? Oh, oh what a fantastic shot. He's just managed to keep them in it at this point without yeah. dropping numbers. Yeah, he's saved yeah. uh, quite a few shots already. Mm. Let's be looking at another one here. Somebody of his caliber. Just turned on him early. Yeah, weight wasn't bad, yeah. so looks like one there. Yep. Yep. As you said, just staying in the game, that's very crucial yeah. at this yeah. stage. Fergo's definitely keeping them in mm. at the moment. We see uh, Bundy stretch out to an early lead. Thanks mostly to Gary Kelly's rink picking up. Yeah, those two fours. Yeah. yeah. So Brad's brought the kitty distance back a little bit. More in keeping. They yeah. seem to like this this length. It's probably even a bit shorter than what they've put, been playing. It's pretty short, isn't mm. it? They're, they're, they're asking, actually stepping it out. Asking the question. We've had some, uh, just to let the viewers know, we've had some umpiring issues over there on the Luca Allo and Wilson rink, so they're a couple ends behind. Right. Well, I think they were getting some rule books out, so... What was that about, Chris? I have absolutely no idea, mm. <laughs> but there was some heated discussions over there, so mm. um, they're just a couple of ends behind, but... It couldn't have been bowls being played out of order, could it? No, I wouldn't have talked no. so. No. We had one last week against Bandura. Kitty bounced forward. Short length. Yep. Yeah. And the guys, some of the guys didn't know, you know. Went, uh, went exceeded the minimum length. Bounced back towards the uh, mat. So I think it's 18, 18 so metres. So length. is that just dead end? Dead end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Replay it. Yep. I don't think I've had one of them for a long time. I can't even remember one. I think I can remember one in the Oz Open in 15 years. That's yep. it. You know, once. Yeah, yep. it's a pretty uncommon. Yeah. Is it 18? Is that ruling? I think it's 18 metres. Yeah. 18 or 17. Yeah. I'm sure one of our viewers will tell us. I'm sure they will. Somebody different can look for it up. Different for Bowl and Jack, I believe. Yes. Uh, bowl delivered, yes. Yeah. I think that's nine, isn't it? 14. 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14 I had, yeah. <laughs> Why don't they round these numbers off? I don't know, just to check. <laughs> so that's just in, I thought it was. That's just 21 metres. Thank goodness they don't put me on the rules committee. I'd be just rounding everything off. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> yeah.
just in Damo set. Missed it by the, that much, was it? Maxwell Smart. The players get into this uh, televising too. They're, they're, they're loving it. They love it. Early yeah. days, some of them didn't want to be on it. It's a great start again. Sorry, Brad. Oh, yeah. That's just, he's been playing awesome. I think they thrive. Yeah, I think... Oh, I don't know. You've been on it as well. Chris has. I, I think there's a little bit of... It's a little bit of something extra when you know you're being commentated on. Well, it's going to be there forever. That's it. <laughs> you want to play good bowls, don't you? It's like when I tell my kids about putting stuff on Facebook. It's going to be there forever. Thank God, that wasn't around where we are. No. Um, no, that's a different dynamic. And will only improve. The day will come we'll be able to stream the four rings. Yes, a bit of drone action. Yeah. Mary Chagar, welcome. Uh, yeah, Jack Woodhouse is playing Mary. Yep. He's um, two rings over. He's playing with Luke Aiello. I think he's playing two or three to Luke Aiello. Playing three, three. to Luke. Mm -hmm. he's just Having a good year, Jack. He is. He is. He's one of their homegrowns. Bit of a star, Jack. Counter yeah. him under pressure, that's what I've found. He's got such a good mum. Oh, he has you got know, a good mum. You Jody. Jody. How could you go wrong? That's it. He's a good kid. He is. His demeanour never really changes. I don't know if you guys picked this up. The uh, the length change here. We've gone yes. from really long to really short. It's it's probably throwing Lenny off a yeah, bit. Yeah, they questioned the... Uh, yeah, it's throwing Lenny mm. off a bit, for yeah. sure. You were probably working while we were just... Sitting here. Oh, the scoring is. Uh, I mean, Chris is doing got many many things going on here. It's multitasking. Yeah, yeah it's literally gone from maximum to minimum. Mm. Mm. T to T to minimum. I'm sure Chris's wife is sitting at home going multitasking. Chris. <laughs> yeah, she'd be Michelle. shaking her head. <laughs> she tries he to put her it. daughter to sleep. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that change of length is mm. is important. They just. Just seeing what's going on. And it's throwing them off a bit too. Well, you've got to take that extra time. Uh, a lot of players don't, wouldn't even have noticed that this has happened and they sort of go through the motions. So. Are you someone, when you get on the mattress, I, I was having a roll today, you know, with the wind, against the wind. Do you, do you talk to yourself a bit when you're on the mat sometimes? Or do you just, is it a bit innate, you just feel it? Oh, my internally sort of think. Yeah. yeah, a little bit of, yeah. you could call it talking to yourself, probably, not outwardly. Yeah, no, no, yeah, just, up. you just, yeah, you would. Yeah, but certainly have that mental note if there's someone's gone from maximum to minimum, mm -hmm. and I might take that extra second yeah. to try to visualise what that means for where my bowl's apex is going to, where yep. it is, and try to adjust accordingly. Even as a teammate, I might... If it's a big wind or a bit, I'll just say, you know, I'm, my two might go past, I might say, you know, with the wind, yep. against the wind, just as a mental reminder. They head can up. always tell me to shut up. Head up your backside, take more grass, that one. I no, don't tell them that. Head in your face. I think yeah. they, can, they can see that. Sorry, wind in your face. Wind in your face. More yep. pace, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Going for the tea, do you think, Tris? Oh, uh, yeah, probably, yeah. Maybe he's been watching the BPL where they respawn. I'd be confused. Mm. Could end up shot. Oh, that's a back bowl. It's a good bowl. Yeah. That they didn't... El Tono in the back before that. It's ingrained in the players not to put short bowls in at this level, and they'd rather have something six foot behind than be short. Yeah, there's nothing worse. Not only is it unlikely to come into play, but you're also just in the way. Yeah. They've all been doing it, so. Looks better. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a good effort. Good ball, Bubba. Yeah, gives yeah, him another, ball. Yep. another second. He's a bit disappointed he didn't get on that pink, but it was right in the area. Yeah. Thank you, Brad Marin, for your, your comments there. Well, I'm glad we were enjoying the, uh, the commentary. If our weather forecasters out in Ballarat could give us a... I had some weather reports earlier about some light rain, so... Um, Gee, he's just drawn second shot uh, here too. Good shot, Dino. At the minute the rain stayed away. Don't jinx us, Gussie, or... Uh, no. Don't mention Don't the mention rain. rain. Don't mention the rain. Don't mention the rain. See what Ferg's got here with these Tigers. Here it comes. Do they turn as much as he said? Flops back. Oh, well, that's it a great attempt. Gee, that's if, a fair yeah. effort. If that hadn't rested on that bowl, <laughs> it flopped back in. So he's got he's got second shot out of that. Mm. Bubba's just indicated. So again, he's cut out a shot. Mm. No danger here. Can make a nice little three if he can. Just rest on that orange. Not too far away. Great ball. Yep. Mm. Very close oh. to counting there. Nearly fell out. with this one, isn't he? Mm. Another big bowl. He's played it. Needs to yeah. get down. See, that's 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 one of those ones where you're going, don't be short. Don't, you can't afford to be short. And I think he was probably. playing a little bit more hunting line there. To sit the yeah. bowls. He had things could to have used on. the last bowl. Yeah. Uh, Dino's there, he so. could have used that off that. So he yeah. was sort of hit, hunting that bowl a bit. Flopped yeah. down. Fergo thinks it's two. He's already put on the scoreboard. Yep. Two. Yep. Uh, there you go. Andrea Todor Todorovic has responded. We've got some light rain at the moment in Ballarat. Uh, thanks, Andrea. Thanks, Andrea. I was talking to Pidge earlier and Andrea's chimed in, so that's good. Yep. So keep those weather reports coming. Hello, Patricia Kay. Nice to nice to see you're on board. There's Patty Warlow. Lovely to hear from you. Pat. Peter Pavaz has piped up and said hello to us, all three uh, of us. Hello, up, Peter. In, <laughs> up in uh, up in Noosa. Yeah. So he's still bowling, is he? Yeah, he's up there. I I, I, I used to have a place up there, and I'd go and Peter would be there yeah, at Tewanton. Hope you're doing well, Peter. Yeah. Is he at Tewanton? Yeah. Is that where Brad is? The old greenkeeper from Q. No, he said somewhere else but um, up that way anyway. Taunton's down the river from Noosa right yeah. nice club beautiful anything's nice in Queensland um, I reckon that's the first one outside of the mat from Brad <laughs> yeah it's been dynamite what are you doing here if you're Fergo Gus um, oh, look. not getting that much from it you know, probably I'm, the second I'm, third position. I've seen this happen this year with skips keeping teams in games and then the guys just start to fall into line. Yep. And that's their job. Hang on. Yep. You know, and I've seen it time so after time. You know, Great sometimes they've got to do it. Well, he's uh, he's got one in there to start here, Lenny. Yep, he has. Something to build on for them. And if you don't live watching what Fergo's been doing in these first five or six ends... You know, of course they're going to live for him. And it's important that Skip doesn't get all right at his players. He, he's just got to realise that's his job. Yeah, there's a lot more to skipping than just uh, putting good bowls down. You really are the rink captain. Yep. Just keep, the, keep your team in the game. 
Yeah, and you've got to sort of think about how you can help get the best out of each of the players, help them be their best, don't yep. you? Yep. Been plenty of good bowlers who, who didn't make good skips for that very reason. Hmm. Yeah. Takes a certain player to be to be a great skipper. Well, yeah, yeah. There's the technical side of it, mm. like you know, try to call someone on the same shot, give mm -hmm. two looks, all that kind of stuff. But there's also the the mental side of it, isn't there? Yep. Keep yep. encouraging. Yep. You've got to want the guys going to want to play for you. Yeah. Very good shot. Yeah, that works. Sides. Good shot. Brilliant. There's a few comments here on the live stream why Sards is hiding that new haircut of his. Mm. Well, uh, those of us who have seen it aren't really that surprised. <laughs> He's got a hat on. No, I think the guys may have mentioned it in the pre-game talk, like, and bought him a hat, had it chipper around. Oh, oh Millsy, that's wow. a good shot. Good wide, yep. Excellent shot. Unlucky that Jack didn't run through, but he has made it easier for his uh, third coming up next. Anything past the jack is, is good here, regardless of whether or not he counts. They need something around the back. Ticker balls. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Gus, you're getting the same comments. Early night. Pitch is telling you, you better have an early night. You've got a big weekend. Well, Pitch, I think Pitch told me to keep doing what I've been doing, and it hasn't been early nights that have been working for me. No. Of course it is. <laughs> You're a bit of a night owl, I think, Gus. Oh, my little dog comes up and taps on the shoulder and says, Dad, it's time to go to bed. Come on, it's one o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Pack it up. <laughs> Interesting. But uh, he played the back end there. Yep. Mm. Could be just trying to get one, you know, a bit closer. Um, I would have thought they'd have two runs at trying to disturb those bowls or move the jack back, but um, interesting, that one. Yep. Plan could be to, you know, get another bowl close, make it a bit easier for Dino. Yep. It build the target a yep. little bit, maybe. The one thing the O'Neill ring doesn't want to do is, is give away a cheap three and let them back into the game. Yeah, the moment you uh, take it, you know, ease the concentration, yeah. that's exactly what will happen. You know? you know, what might look obvious to us at home, they know what they're doing. Dino's, uh, uh, Damo's playing superb. He could draw this. It's close, I think. Get down. Well, there you go. Nearly did. Yeah, you could third shot with that one. And it's a great spot. I mean, that changes everything now. Yeah. They can play to the blue, to Lenny's blue. They can tap to pink, get it back. It's a bit stiff where the jack ended up, but yeah, it's it can't go to their bowls now. So mm. there were pros and cons to that decision. Much harder to get a number now, but it's also a lot harder to drop one. So... See what he plays. Do you think Dan will go big at that? I think he will. Yeah, I think definitely forehand, his forehand, yeah. Straight down. Yep. Jack looks to be hitting the back blue, and who knows where it goes yeah. after that. So Could ricochet forward even, one of those ones. Yep. Cameron Bell says he lives in Toronto now, and, and he, Gus, I don't know if you know him, but uh, I do know Cameron Bell. Hello. That's Cam He's Bell. He's loving the commentary. Uh, Cam Bell, congratulations on your singles win. Did he? Yeah, I saw it in uh, oh, saw it on Facebook. Uh, great, great baller can is, and uh, it's great to see him get that singles win. He's probably already got one, but it's nice to get another one if you've got one. Here we go. Here we go. It's come off that. Oh. Mm. Well, get another one. What's he looking for here, Chris? Oh, just cover, I think. Yeah. It's really hard to tell where that jack's going to go. 
uh, if it does collect the back blue one. So, well, but, you know, forward up to green, kill I've sideways. I've seen it go everywhere yeah. this year. There is no safe place. He's taking a little bit of weight off for this. Trying to arrive, spit the mm -hmm. jack back to Damien's that's, bowl. That's all he wants to do, just light touch. He's close. Oh, mm. good effort. Looks like it needs to be rolled once, and that's delicate, isn't it? Yeah. Can they use? Oh, they can use Lenny's ball there. They can just flop off Lenny's and flop in and nearly get shot. That's the last uh, last ball of the end. So he's oh, twenty okay. for three. Oh, oh. He clears that. His weight was superb. Awesome effort. Good effort. That's good. That'll get the ball rolling for them. Mm. So it's been dominated by Bandura early on this rink. But they just hold the four-shot lead. Probably goes to show the quality of uh, Virgo there. Yep. He's really kept them in it, hasn't he? Yep. Early. Now, let's see. They're not... Lenny's not... He's brought the mat up. Now, he's telling him to move the uh, mat Ferguson back. Ferguson, go back. Yeah, see. He's going to stretch it out again. This is becoming an important part of this game, yeah. this length. These guys are all experienced. They've got game awareness. They mm. should know when the mm. mats are up and down. It's funny as a lead, sometimes you try and creep the mat up to your length. Without the opposition noticing? Without the skip noticing. Oh, without <laughs> <laughs> Do you? <laughs> That's happened. I've even had twos tell me that uh, lengthen it up, Gus. <laughs> so, I don't know. A lot of funny things happen the out there. The lead can play whatever they want. If play they to your strengths if you're getting them close. That's right. As long as want. the ball's on the jack. <laughs> That's what I'd be telling my lead. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, lovely Queen Meredith Norton. Nice uh, to see you on board. Welcome aboard. Yeah. We've seen a little bit of Meredith coming out for regionals and stuff, yep. which has been great. It's great. Yeah. Bradley's back on it. Yep. that head for these skips and thirds. It's getting much turnout there, are they? No, they're not. Seems it's to be just sluggish. tightened it up a yeah, lot. Yeah. yeah. Something to keep an eye on. And Tris, you've got a new role this year with uh, Yarra. Yes, yep. Yarra Region? Yep. How's that going? I'm in there as president of Yarra Region, which, of course, which of course Bandura is in the region. So yep. I see these guys quite a bit actually against them, and sometimes I play with them with yep. the girls for regional events. Um, yeah, it's good. It's great. I mean, there's been I'd only been on there in a casual role last year yep. to help out with match committee because mm -hmm. I, I was one of those things where you hear people you think, oh, rather than I should help, you yep. know, put your hand up and get on board with bowls link and entry. Yep. So the next thing I found myself involved as president, which was not something I coveted. I've got a bit more time bowling before I go into managing, yep. but yeah, it's good. But you bring a great, ex I mean, your corporate background, great experience to that role. Hopefully it adds some value mm. for, the, for the region, for the players, mm. you know. So a couple of things we've done this year where, you know, we've sort of, we're really using the website. We've yep. got Matty O's been great, awesome. you know, with yep. Um, and we've got people using Bowls Link and doing the entries yep. directly, whereas last year we had to do it yeah. for them, which is. Um, There's been a, you know an 18 month teething on that. Yeah. But, um, Maddie spent a lot of time in education on that. Yeah. Good, great bowl there. Yeah. That's a good bowl. It's great yeah. to see people like you taking that step up. That's how we're going to grow the game. Yeah. I think so. Thanks. And um, bringing different expertise to the roles, and um, you know, as I said, the, us boomers, you know. Not as tech savvy as the younger ones. Oh, well, he's got the jack, but mm. he's spat it straight out to Lenny's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit stiff. Pretty unfortunate there. Yeah. 
Um, Still, it's one amongst four. Yeah. It's just a bit hard to remove, I guess. Anyway, they'll get closer than that. Yeah. Yeah, so it's good to answer your question. And, yeah. you know, I like being involved with all the clubs. It's a great region, you know. Very good. good. Yeah. Yep. yep. And we're working with the regions. I think we've got a region meeting uh, online coming up uh, soon. Um, of course, now we can do that as on Zoom and things like that. You know, you can really get everybody on board. You don't have to travel around the countryside to do them. It's good, isn't it? You know, yeah. meetings can happen quickly as yep. well. You can decide to meet. We yep. quite often, we have a WhatsApp and we just meet with half an hour's notice wow. if necessary, yeah. you know. And they don't tend to be long meetings. They're very on point because... Everyone's busy. Yeah. Get on with it. <laughs> yeah. But we don't want to ever lose the tactile nature of our, our game and our sitting at, you know, it's, it's nice. I mean, I know I've been on the bowls for a year and a half or so, and, you know, we've been doing a lot of online stuff. But, you know, we were up in Miami last week together, and it was really good to get together, you know, to have a bit of side chat. Yeah. Um, you know, a bit of development chat. Draw. Yeah, nothing beats face-to-face. -face. It's, like, yeah. it's like corporate world, isn't it? Like yeah. you, you do... Those chats around the water cooler, face to face, are very important. That's Thank right. you, Elaine, for that comment. That's Elaine, right. the treasurer, has just piped up and given that. Thanks for that feedback. Oh, yeah. Good. Uh, that's rain coming down. It is. I did want to mention that, Chris, but I had to. It's all right. It's happening. It's a good shot there, Bubba. Wasn't far away with his first demo. Something similar. I reckon if he splits those two bowls now, the the gaps closed up. So. Yeah, they got. If he can play the same ball. Good shot to play there. Just spinning at the moment, more of a nuisance than anything. So this is where your front ends have a different role to play when it's raining. They start to get to work with the towels and making sure the bowls are dry for the thirds and the skippers and doing that extra. Yep. You know, True. Kicking, you know. Um, their responsibility is to, to make sure that everything's uh, easier for their back end. Are you liking this, Chris? It's just hanging on him. Yep. All right. It's probably enough at the moment for third. It is. Uh, um. Going pretty firm here if I was Dino. I would expect Dean will change this. Nice gap for him to use as a guide. Plenty to hit. Playing that nice swingy weight. Mm. Yep. Will it swing? Oh, it's them on the way in, too. He knocks. Oh. Good effort. Mm. He has chosen it. You know, a very difficult shot there. Yep. Uh, I guess if he does remove Brad's bowl, he might be another another one down. So that's probably what's stopping him from going flat out. Mm. Yeah, sometimes those four foot through, three foot through shots are more difficult than yep. more direct, mm. aren't they? Gary Kelly's on the march in the rink next door. We can actually see that directly from me. He likes it. He's got it. He's got it. They're going to go up. Yeah, he it. puts the hand up. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah. Um, great ball from Nick as well. So yeah, quality skips there. We had a great side of that, Tris, didn't we? We did. So it's rolling in. There he is looking for four here. This can change things very quickly. He's done it. He's done it. We're just talking now. This is... Dino, just time to stand up. Snatch it away from I them. I think he's got to go between the blue bowls. He's, he's go gone a bit more direct. Between. I don't know. Oh, he's, he's tried got that hard weight. weight again, yeah. That's I'll be disappointed just, with that. Yeah. Four. Yep. The value of being patient. Yeah. There's a bit of noise here, too, on the decking. Mm. There's something to be said for home ground advantage. Yes, there's a, a good, good crowd out here on the deck. Bridging the gap now, Altona. This mm. is what happened. Uh, we played them on a Friday and the crowd was very vocal. Yeah, it does make a difference, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. 
when he's not going back to that long end. He's, I think he's, he's found his comfort. Length, they're liking this. Yeah. Why would you change anything after getting a fall? Yeah, well, what was it? 8-2. They got six yeah. shots in the last couple. Yeah, two ends. You have to be patient, Chris, don't you? You've got to be patient for your time in this in this quality of field. Yeah, you'll get your chances. You will, yep. yeah. Yep. Oh, bo bowls is like that, isn't yeah. it? Like, you always just got to wait, wait, for, wait for your time yep. and take your opportunities yep. when they arise. Simon Norton has just asked, asked us, guys, what does this game mean for the ladder and finals hopes for both these teams? So, Well, Bandura are pretty good. Bandura, are, uh, they're safe. I would say they're safe. Yeah. Uh, I'll just... Uh, Altona are really... Fisher, Gus is going to look yeah, some Fisher stuff at up. the moment. They I'll really need, re they need to win they need, tonight and they need yeah. results to go their way. Yeah. So They absolutely... So this, as Chris said earlier, their backs are against the wall tonight. Altona are sitting fifth um, and they're on 143 points. Uh, Clay Clayton has six, 142, and Yarraville are 141. So there's only one point separating those three and Altona is uh, about... Uh, that's 13 points behind fourth. So that's 13 points is nearly a game, just over a game. So I don't want to keep pace with the four. They've got to win this game. If they don't... Great shot, Lenny Kellis. If they don't, uh, they could be headed by um, uh, the two teams. So every game's important um, for these, these three or four sides in the middle there. Melbourne, Altona, Clayton and Yarraville. Hopefully that answers your question there, Simon. But uh, MCC, I would say, are fairly safe. Yeah. Um, I think Melbourne are the only team that can uh, lose their final that's spot. That's right. So, and uh, they do play Yarraville uh, Melbourne and MCC. So M Melbourne play Yarraville and uh, MCC. So y it's in Yarraville's hands, uh, uh, partly. It's in Melbourne's hands. Yep. Um, it's in all their hands. You've got to win games. Even your top three sides, Chris, uh, you want to go into finals winning. Oh, you're right, Gus. Now. Yep. You want to be hot. You want to have your side settled. Yep. Yeah. You, know, you want to be get some momentum going leading into finals. Yep. And I think Altona have got uh, Croydon on Sunday. So it, they really need to win tonight and with Sunday and okay. then they're, they're a good chance. Yeah, well, that's... Yeah. Well, they're quite an approving hard to beat out there. They are. There are no easy games. No. You know, and people go, oh, you should win that. Every game you have to show up, you get beaten. Oh, that's the a way great it is. shot there from Nathan. Is, isn't it? I think the three or four teams that missed the finals will be able to go back and, and see why they missed them. I mean, Altona lost a couple of games to Mentone. Yeah, the, the um, Dropped ones. both games yep. close to Mentone. Um, um, uh, Yarraville dropped one to Croydon. Um, it's always the close ones, because yeah. you know you you win more more of those ones, you're, gener you're generally yeah. going to finish in the top four. Yeah, yeah. We always aim for those, like you know, four points minimum away, and you jag a few of those, and then you're looking for finals. Yep. You know, if you win them. Well, you guys have been playing in Premier. Would you say this has been a step up in quality this year? Have you seen a change this year? I have no I doubt think about so. it. Yep. Yeah, I would say so, yep. for sure. You know. it, it help, it's these flyings that attribute to that, I think. Yep. yep. They make everyone else stand tall around them, really, don't they? Yeah. It's the strongest uh, Melbourne Premier League's been for quite some time, in my opinion. A few people have said that. Right. So, yeah, and I would say that too. You would say that. You've been yep. around for a while. Yep. Dogger Wilson starting to uh, really fire up a couple of rinks over. He went flying down the green there. I a lot of the noise coming from Altona. I think yep. they're just playing the better bowls at the moment. So feel like there's a bit of momentum switching. Yeah. Yep. They were ten, 10 shots down early and now they're one in front. So mm. Definitely kicking into gear. That's a great shot, Bubba. Two down to one up. Altona are a very proud club, like most of the clubs in Premier League. I mean, they're at their house, play by their rules. Mm. You're going to have to work hard to beat us here today. And the conditions, it's a beautiful night. I mean, I know it's a bit of rain, but it's just gorgeous under the lights. 
got the tennis courts in the background there. Yeah, packed, it's nice. Packed house, packed crowd, great facilities. Did you get something to eat there, Chris? Did you did, did you oh, sample food the food? Great, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. good. Yeah. Highly recommend if you're in the area. Get down here. We we played a few group games on the Sundays, and there's always dancing. I've, I haven't. They, they, got, they got great bands here yep. on Sundays, yeah. dancing. So it's get down here tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Dan Carruthers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See if he can repeat the dose here. I think his skipper will be very happy where his first one finished. Growing in confidence, yeah, isn't he? Yeah. Pretty happy with that one too. Like, you know, you t pretty said pretty at shot. the start, Chris, he stepped up to three, but he's really starting to embrace that. Yeah, position. and he was, I guess on that end, he was just able to draw to the jacks. Yep. Just thinking um, that, that's, so that's where yep. playing lead yep. is basically mm -hmm. that's what he's one done and there. three. Yep. Yeah, one and three, two and four. Uh, and he, it's a big time to do it, so... Mm. Well, when you're skipping, Tris, you, you love to have a third who's a very good draw. I mean, who can draw the shot. Absolutely. That's gold, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Six down. You want someone to get something in there, you know, don't you? Thirds who can play wait and miss. They're a dime a dozen. But those that can draw the shot, wow. They're the ones you love. Yeah. yeah. And we can all play and miss. Yeah, Altona, lots of fingers going up across the green. They're just See, the, yeah, and the difference here is like Ferg's bowling to, to heads where he's actually holding, mm -hmm. where he's been down a lot mm -hmm. early. Here he goes. He's, he's yeah, it's a great shot. Got another one in there now. Wow. That, well, it's the absolute, Deep probably. Shot. Yeah. Makes a difference, doesn't it? Well, as I said, the last in, uh, Dino was a bit, um, you know, he just played, Chris said he probably playing the harder shot, but he's got the ability to do it. Now he's got to step up here and... We snatch a, snatch away a bit of the air, a bit of the oxygen, deny them. Yes, send a message. Mm -hmm. Big bowl from Dean, three down, two in a look anyway. Doesn't look too far away. It's close, got it. He just yeah, sucked the air out of the room, shot. didn't he? Yeah, yeah. that's a ripper. That's what you call about taking the oxygen away. He's and done exactly what Fergo was doing yep. Yep. doing to them yep. at the start of the games. Mm. Sneaky chance here to, to still make a number. Mm -hmm. Just the pop key the here. jack yeah. through just right for three. I think you'll need too much weight. Yeah. Yard to four feet's enough. Gets it on the right angle, can make a three or four, yep. Yeah. I was thinking for the commentary team, wouldn't it be nice if they brought back the afternoon tea break? Yeah, you know, that would be good. wouldn't it be nice if we could have a few sangos or something at half time? Scoons and jam. Oh yeah, nice. Oh well, I, I'm from Yarraville. I don't get scoons and jam <laughs> <laughs> anymore. <laughs> we get some sausages. <laughs> get some good food. Oh, he's playing for it too. Mm. Yeah, like that. But that's that. Applying that pressure again. You've got to make him play. Stepped up to the plate, you know. Yeah. And Dino's got another bowl. Yeah. Does he go near this? We're happy with the one. I think I would take the one and run on that one. He might try to get some cover. Stop that three. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Well, he switched across. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Split the back bowls, I'd say. Try to split the pinks. Fur goes out of ammo, so. Yeah. Oh, he's too. Yeah. Good point, Chris. That's important. Is he trying to roll one of these yeah, up? Yeah, he is. Mm, he wasn't far yeah, away. It's, it's a great attempt. Great effort. Just a one there to Bundy. Yep. Now that the end's finished, uh, I did see that comment, Lloydo. And what secrets do you think I'm giving away? What's that? Lloyd's just made some comments. Can you just stop giving away all our secrets? What was, is that? I was saving those questions for later. <laughs> it's all mm. that gym work that we do at MCC. Yep. Same I've, I've with all these influx of young guys and the yep. uh, longevity of our sport. We should put a gym in, I was decided. Okay. Get rid of that old pool table, that dusty old <laughs> pool table there. <laughs> put a gymnasium in. In there. <laughs> yep. Yeah, well, Maxie could put on a few. He could run lessons, some muscles. Scotty and Russell Green yeah. could do the weights. Yeah. 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 Oh, scruff down there. Yeah. We could. And Tommy, Tommy, Clip Richie could, <laughs> would love to 
be pumping some iron. He'd probably <laughs> bench press the most, actually. Probably. <laughs> we will not be putting a gym in at Yarraville, I'm telling you. <laughs> Another bar. Another bar outside. Yeah, we haven't got that yet. Are you going to? Is that on the cards, you guys? Oh, look, you know, we, we've got some stuff in the pipeworks. I think... Um, Fair effort there. So that's pulling up a bit. Yarraville's in a great, well-positioned spot. Uh, it's, it's a big club uh, going along well, and uh, they've got some pretty grand plans out there, yeah. yeah. yeah Roo roofs are, you know, one oh, of the, good, yeah. you know, on the agenda for all clubs, um, if they can do it. They should be, shouldn't they? Wouldn't that be great just to jump across the, the Westgate when all that road work's finished and jump down to Yarraville and have a roll in the indoor? It's a great club, uh, Gus, yeah. and they're currently looking for bar staff, so in oh. front of house staff. So if anyone out there is interested, okay, couldn't recommend the place highly enough. Yep, yeah, good, good. We've had a lot of loyal staff. We've just had one or two who've moved on for various other reasons, education and that. Um, yeah, great, great team down there, and good meals, like here. Yep, that's a great correction. Let him tell yeah, us. Yeah, good shooting. Isn't it good to be able to go to bowls and have a meal at the bistro? Yeah. Like, it's great, isn't it? Except if you go, if you overtrain on Thursdays, like someone told me it was 9 o'clock, the oh. meal's shut, and it's 8.30. Oh, you missed out. 20 to 9, we went in there, and I was starving last <laughs> night. <laughs> missed out. That's tough. Wow, good shot. You'd think after 90% of the good year's shot. gone, I'd know, wouldn't you? You'd like to think so, but, you know, training takes precedence. It does. We do love to train. Pidge uh, was playing his single semi-final, uh, which he won, mm -hmm. and the consummate player is he jumps on the green after, and then we had an hour and a half training session after that, played pairs. Um, can after, never get After him. the singles match? After the singles match, yep. Interesting. Loves it. He comes down he from Ballarat with... Uh, Andrew and uh, young Oscar Jones, who won the under 18s up there, um, mm -hmm. and he's a great talent on the up. And Oscar's out there rolling up, and it's great to get on the great green with someone young like that and just have a roll. Yeah. Make you play better. Is Oscar in your top side? He's, he's on. He's in our squad. Yeah. Uh, there. Uh, he, he played early. Yeah. Okay. But, you know. It's great development. Absolutely. I think he played Pidge in the singles and got 16 or 17 off him. Probably could have got 20. You know, played real well. Great experience too. Yeah. The shadows here causing yeah. issues. Yeah. It's close. Uh, it's the, uh, the roof above us here. And the lights are behind it, so... It's very dark where the jack is, guys, isn't it? It is. It is. Probably the last end we'll play. With the jack in that position. Have a word to Lenny. No, Lenny didn't roll this one. No, Brad rolled Brad this one. Brad rolled it. Hubbard's just played a bomb over there. Just through to land on the jack. Plenty of room here. Had a second one. He looks very good. Yeah. Good ball, Damo. Oh, that's, that's a very good shot. Forehand, swing in, split both balls, yeah. rattle through to the jack and take it back through there. Might have Lenny. just made it slightly easier Yeah. for old Tona. Aggressive, yeah. He's close, I think. Oh, it's just going on him. A bit, bit, bit more aggressive with that line. Well, that is uh, not good. <laughs> not ideal. <laughs> Fergo just uh, grimaces a little. Yeah, a little. He's blocked that now, so... He might get him to play it again, just to remove it. Yep. The area again. Damo, if he gets a clear road. Uh, it's the front one. 
I'll switch the hand, I think, but he's staying, get through there, just open it up. Yeah, that's the call from Fergo. Yeah. Straight up the middle. Just got to make the skips jobs easier, don't we, as a third? Yeah. lot more weight behind this. Yeah. It's hitting something. Mm. Yep. Good shot. Oh, he's actually got the shot yeah. out of it. He cleared yep. the way. That's exactly what they wanted. It had options too, you know. A yep. little bit wide, a little bit skinny. No, he's hit hit he's hit, he had a three ball target he's hit. So. Yeah. He's got it. Can he get the split? Uh, it's uh, pretty close now. Yeah, not sure. all. <laughs> what are you doing here, Tris, if you're Virgo? How's the back look? I think he has to sort of... I'd be looking... It depends. I think with the way he's Play balls it like turns, a down swing yeah. on the backhand, maybe. Yeah, he could definitely draw on the forehand. He's got those turny balls. Depends if he thinks he's holding or not. Yeah. Um, it's hard to give it away, I think, on the forehand. Like you said, depends if he's up or down. And he's got last ball, so he can wait and see what Dean does before do anything drastic. He doesn't want that blue out of there, does he? I just think this will be a forehand draw, but. Mm. He'd only end up two down on the other way, I reckon. I don't think you can see. No. <laughs> I don't think you can either, even when he was trying it's to look so at who dark. had shot. It's got to hold. Yeah, it's good. The players are not even sure who's got it, I don't think. I don't think they can see. No. We'll give De Damo a torch. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, big Clark McAvoy. Welcome aboard. Yes, there is a bit of Q Heights commentary going on here. <laughs> <laughs> That's super. Yeah, good days. Yeah. Good to see you, you guys super. remember Clark. Saw him on Wednesday a week ago. Regionals. Well, here we go. Let's see what goes here. He can play a great shot here. That outside. He wants, that wide, one. He wants the, the wide one. The outside one is coming. Oh. He's going to get a slide. He's got it. Oh. Wow. He wouldn't have wanted it that way, but uh, it was take very it, close. Take him when you get him, Gus. Yep. Yeah, you never Still give them back. Shot, no. You might not celebrate them, but you don't give them back, no. do you? Get him on the card. Mm. How does he get through here? I think he's going. He's looking for the dead draw. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Very difficult shot. Man, that's an awesome ball. I don't. Great effort. One so down. One down. Yep. One, to one to Lenny Callis' ball. All right, what a ball. It's gripping at the end there, isn't it? Yes, it is. The Tigers, you mean, mm -hmm. or just the green in general? The green in general, yeah. but the Tigers are helping. I think they make a pretty big difference to the Tigers. They do. I got a set for the indoors because we were going to go out and play the indoors last year, which got postponed. Yep. I've got a set of those, so they are quite a bit wider than the XGs. What colour are they? They're green, guys. Mm. Green. Turquoise. Like your eyes. <laughs> is that green? <laughs> <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> Mike Haig has just got on board, guys. Uh, he said the no. Q Heights juniors. <laughs> 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 Welcome aboard, Magic. Yes, mate. 
Good to see him, Rocky. And we haven't mentioned Goat at all. No, no. There's, um... If we did mention them, do you think any would arrive at my house? Like, like a carton of Like a carton of something? Yeah, well, no. the it's not goat soap, is it? Certainly not soap, no, no. no. I don't think it's candles either, is it? No. Greatest of all time, Sir Alex Marshall. It's fearless, it's certainly fearless, I believe. Could be a liquid. <laughs> well, we'll leave it to the imagination. Yeah. We're like the ABC, we're not meant to advertise, I don't think. Uh, I Easily think tunes true. in, the Brilliant. great man. I wouldn't be surprised if he logs in at some point. Who's that? Alex, loves his bowls. Oh, okay. I hope he does. We want to try and get him on one day, don't we, Chris? Yes. Been hard to get. Yes. Busy hard to man, very popular man. Busy man. Yeah. A lot of commitments. Well, you've got the, uh, what's the... Uh, Shot again there from Brad. Sorry, go on. You've yeah. got Case's um, uh, ultimate bowls. Championship, championship yeah, coming up. We'll give a little ad for that. Yeah, so the draft list uh, came out during the week for all the teams to have a look at the players. I think there's 415 names in the in the draft list. So should I look for my name? Oh, I'm not sure. Did you enter? <laughs> you never know. I think uh, you've got to be asked. There's, well, there's quite a few uh, wild card chances uh, being given out because a lot of teams can't travel. So right. plenty of chances for anybody. Uh, so you know, to grab a wild card and play in that. So what? What is that wild card? I know some names had wild card next to them. What's it's that? It's a hundred dollars, isn't it, to enter? It or was. Something? It was. Okay. It, it was. The entries have come forward because of, we've missed out for a two years. Yeah. So right. Whoever entered two years ago is in. Yep. In the draft this year, and um, yeah. So basically, Gus, if you do draw a wild card, you can select your team from the draft and. and Essentially, represent the wild card team and have a chance at winning the prize money. So it's, exciting, okay. isn't it's a great it? initiative for any bowler. Yeah. So, you know, if you're lucky enough to have your name pulled out. Yep. Awesome. And play against the best of the best for a uh, you know a whole week. Yeah. That's and that's from the third to the seventh of April at Daniel. Yep. It's not far away. So just explain, Tris. Do you want to explain to the viewers maybe just a little bit, just briefly about that new concept? The ultimate bowls competition. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Well. It's different. It's certainly different. I love it. Mm. I really like it. I think it's it's fast mm -hmm. and it's exciting. And so what shot? So the ultimate end is like shot balls worth ten. Is that right. right? Yep. yep. Second shot's worth five. Yep. Third shot's worth two. Yep. One. Whatever it is. And and you get a point for a toucher. So you, you lead ultimately it wants to be tra score. trailing trailing Jack all the time. So what's the ultimate score you can get on an end? It's there is something. Well, every ball has to. Be a toucher, yeah. and you have, that to, equal you have to win the crossover. Yeah, it's huge anyway. And then get first, second, and third shots. Has so it been done? There's been a, I think oh, there's been an ultimate end before. Yeah. Uh, it has been a couple of years since the last event, but it's just a great initiative. Mm. Mm. It's exciting, and, and it's huge prize money, isn't it? What's the prize money? Yeah, it's massive. Mm. Over the three events, it's f it's four four hundred fifty thousand dollars. Wow, um, yeah. it's good. So the first one's in April at Daniel, and the second one, it's up in Queensland, isn't it? Where is it? Dandenong, maybe Moama. Yeah, it I might be. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, Moama would still be working that third one us. out. Yeah. And is Alex p playing in that? He'll be. Is he up to play in that? Yeah, I'm not sure what, what team is... Um, you can pre pre buy players or pre select players, right. so I'm not sure which team's got it got his signature yet. Mm -hmm. uh, the best of the best uh, will be playing in it, no doubt. And there'd be some girls playing in that. Yep. I'd imagine. Yep, definitely. Some yeah. of the girls. Jo Joe Edwards, yeah. a regular yeah. Yeah. competitor in that one. one of New Zealand's greatest ever player, I'd say. It was interesting. There was a comment made during the week about having. A BPL for women, like they do, you know, up in Miami we've just had. Yeah. And my first thought of that was, well, the girls are as good as the men. They get to play with the men, you know. Yeah, the, the BPL's a bit different, don't they, because they specify there has to be one woman in the side. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying they'd have a specific women's... Someone BPL? was suggesting that. Why not have one? And I kind of sort of thought, well... Our girls are good enough to play anyway. You know, there was some. I mean, some of the best players up there that I saw last I week. I like the mixed format the way it is. Yeah, so yeah. do I. And I suppose what I'm saying is, in cricket, soccer, and AFLW footy, 
you've got your own things because they don't play with the men because yeah. they can't. Well, it's a strength thing in, yeah. those, in those sports, isn't there? Whereas and that's the great thing be, about our game. Yeah. You know? so I was looking at that the other day thinking there's not a great deal of women playing at this highest level being prem. Right. You know, thinking... Why is that? But mm-hmm. I think it's purely the numbers of women versus men. Like there's eighty the percent guys in the game anyway. Yeah. So we've got about eleven women that play in this Premier Division. So okay. eleven out of one hundred and sixty players. Right. You know. So, so it's not quite uh, five percent or something. Yeah, 6%, yeah. 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 You're the accountant. So you know, yeah. Seven percent. I yeah, round yeah. everything up. You know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you're not, right. It's not um, even the twenty percent. You know, yeah. which is the demographic. Yep. You know, Eighty twenty. Anyway. Uh, we've got one of the two Edwards here today playing. We do. Brooke and Gail. Both, you know, significant achievements over the years. Well, of course, you know... Great shot there, Fergo. Yeah. He, did he get shot second. out of that? Oh, he might have two now. Huh. He's bowling well, isn't he? Yeah. These bowls are He's working getting that for extra him. draw compared to everybody else. So it's making a yeah. difference. Yeah, well, that's, the, that's coming prepared, isn't it? Yeah, that's doesn't surprise me. No. I remember a couple of years ago playing Aaron Wilson at Clayton and he had classic twos on a night game. And the same thing. Get, get the ball turning. If any of our viewers get a chance, there's a great game against Aaron Sheriff. He played up at, uh, I think he plays at Etamonga or what, what, um, Etamo Bowls Club. Um, yeah. And, and, and uh, they played a great singles game. It's on YouTube. Um, just Google the boys' names and bowls and you'll come up and fascinating to watch, you know, they're just awesome. Yeah, right. Plenty of bowls on YouTube. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? You it's been good during COVID to be able to watch. Oh. So is he drawing for three here, Chris? Is Looks right? like it. He's definitely got one with his first, so Yeah, he's there. He's oh. well, he might, he's trailed oh. it he's trailed it for one. Yeah, okay. That's better. Yep. It is better but it's still gettable. Dino is just going to go have a look at this. Uh. I mean, if any other player played at a lower level played that shot, they'd be really happy, wouldn't they? That he can see the... Yeah, that it's re- that's dangerous, yeah. maybe. Mm, it's quite, not quite what he wanted. For those that can't see that, Ferg had a little chuckle to us after that shot. <laughs> <laughs> Always better to hold them than, than to not have them. That's so. exactly right. Dino will be searching up there on the back end. Can use the wide balls to uh, call the shot. Oh, I've got no idea. He's playing forehand. <laughs> <laughs> what he's doing here? Etalong. There you go. Right. Etalong. Ben, Benny Thompson. Thanks. He's trying to turn the orange or trail the jack. He's close. Oh. He's turned them in for another. So, okay. They played a f- couple of strange shots that I wouldn't play. So, what do you reckon he was looking there? Well, it looks like he was trying to. Turn the orange, the orange onto the jack yeah. for them to get free or, or miss under and get but the jack. He kind of didn't have the weight, um, maybe. Yeah, and, I mean, he hasn't missed a shot by much, but he's no. given them another sh- another one, so... A couple of times there. Chosen a pretty hard shot. They backed, so, th- they backed themselves in. So that's... That's uh, nine shots scored to one in... The the last in this second yep. second quarter of the game. Yep. Yes. Yeah, Fergo stemmed the, the flow early and then his rinks come to the party this last this last five ends, so we'll see how Bundy can respond. And Kale's Kale's holding Kelly. Kelly was on a bit of a rampage, he's still just four ahead. Um, McKinnon's just three ahead of course. Good All game. All square there. now that one. All square now. Yep. And Lukey at the end there. It's all uh, in the balance. Mm. Three shots in it. It's got that jack in the shadow again, so good luck yeah. to the guys out there. It's those anal retentive leads. They're just going to, if something works, they just put it there. They're just going to keep doing it. Yeah. And this shadow won't move, will it? Because it's uh, unnatural. It's not a sun shadow. No, correct. It's just coming from the light fixture, so it should stay the same. I remember in my early days of bowls and they used to have the lights that hung over the greens and the shadows and I'd try and, you know, hit the, hit the shadow and I didn't realise the shadow was moving. 
<laughs> so I, I got narrower and narrower. <laughs> <laughs> you live and learn, Gussie. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Mm. Very good no one told lady. me. <laughs> He gets the ball away very nicely, Brad. Just uh, what I call a shoot bowler out the shoot. Good weight down the hill. Yeah, effective ball. Correction. Mm. I can't pick a winner out of the leads today. No, it's been a ding dong battle. A good tussle, aren't they? Really good. They've set up this game. Oh, it's a great game to watch, isn't mm, it? I mean, it it's is. good, good, as you said, the live stream games have been good. Yep. This is another one. Wow. Great shot, Shane. Yeah. yeah shot. He wants it to fall. Yes, Mary. Uh, uh, Mary Dragar's piped up again. A lot of great lady bowlers in the country mm. uh, that work and have, um, like Kylie, for example. Yep. Kylie's a legend, agreed. Um, she's a great example. That haven't been asked to, to come and play Prem in the city, yep. but that's true. That's a good point she makes, you know. I mean,. Um, Kylie's well, in the development squad now for Australia, I think. So right. I think. Um, but it's true. Like, why don't they get asked to come down and play? Well, oh, Kylie would have would have been asked her yeah. in the past. You'd expect she's so, very committed you? to her work, yeah. and, and early days it was you know studying. Studying, and yeah. Because we were quite good friends, yeah, a few yeah. years ago. Yes, and sometimes as they haven't been asked, it just doesn't quite fit in with their. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I mean, Time I've talked line. to Kylie before about that too. I mean, I don't have to tell you, Tris, how much time it takes up to devote yourself yeah. to a year of prem. It's a lot. Yeah. I was going to make a comment earlier. There's a lot of girls in um, Metro who are not, you know, like a Michaela Long mm. um, is not playing prem. But, I mean, they're playing at... She I was last year, but she was. Like Whittlesea yes. got relegated. That's, so. that's true. She yeah. was, and she stuck with Whittlesea. Yeah, yeah, and they're going to make the final, so good yep. luck to them. So hopefully they can bounce back. Yep. Yeah, still a very good team. Oh, did, great I, did I see Steve Glasson came down and he played did. a game? Yeah, he did that's play. Pretty. Yeah, they run a, a, a sportsman's night to raise some funds, and I heard it was a really good night for the club. So it's a it's a great initiative. Yep. They do a lot of good stuff up there at Whittlesea. They're a good club. They do. It's even hard to set the colour of the bowls in that shadow. Well. Yeah. He yeah, wanted to measure, it looks like, to uh, Bundy. Just trying to beat the pink ones. Nathan Wilson again. Driving out, uh, driving a jack out of bounds. They're already, they're already a couple ends behind. They just keep going to get further behind, aren't they? Just didn't get down on that weight. Trail will be good here, mate. Down the line. I can't see in that shadow. It's Tra trail for four. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those two pink ones are theirs, so if you can get that jack there. Good weight. Far away. He's on a better line here. He's on a better line here. It's just got a hole. Needs to hang. Oh, that'll work. That's Bandura, isn't it? Yeah, mm. it's Brad's ball. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Michael Walker, I don't know whether Bambi's in UBC. You have to ask him. I think he'll be on uh, a few teams' radars. I mm. think he will be. If I was uh, team manager... Certainly a name. Uh, would be on my uh, to-get list. He's I'm sure he's player. had some approaches. Yep. I'm sure of that. Uh, hands, welcome from South Africa. No, this is not an artificial surface. This is uh, tiff, tiff grass. Yep. Yep. And it's probably, it probably started about 14 at 7 o'clock. And it's probably, what do you reckon, guys? I would have dropped two seconds, I think. It's a 12 and a half. Yeah. There you go. Mm. About 12 and a half now. 
Welcome from South Africa. I wonder what green speeds they run in South Africa. Quick. Quick, Are apparently. They? Very, very quick. Like New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they generally have uh, stances where their front, front lead foot's well in front of their back foot. Like a fixed stance yeah. type thing. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, they, like almost South they almost stance. start. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. What, that's what it's known yeah. as. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we had a few South Africans in the old Auburn Heights days. Is it and the yep. Yeah, and they were all fixed stance. Yep. I'd never seen that before. Yep. Um, of course, the climate is very similar to Australia um, at Joburg and that. So the theory behind the, the fixed stance is just, or the shorter step is, it shortens your backswing mm. naturally, right? So you find people do it on really, really quick greens. I mean, your dad's got My one dad of the does shortest it steps. On really quick it's, greens, it's, he does, yeah. It's yep. a tiny step. I, yep. I, I almost couldn't do it. It's so, you yeah. know. Um, and, he, and he's probably a, a much better quick green player than he is a yep. slow green player, so. Yep. Probably takes away some margin for error, you know, as well with the shorter backswing. It's a bit like golf, I find. Yep. Well, the bigger the backswing, the more the The risk. ergonomics of the body, if you take a big step, you tend to take a big yeah. swing with your arms. So the shorter step, shorter arm swing, it sort of follows. And I'm sure it's not called ergonomics in body movement. It's something <laughs> else. I don't know. Vic Troster would be able to tell us. <laughs> yeah. yeah well, Vic, can you phone in and save me here? <laughs> here we go. What's Ferg going to do here? He's a few down. I like to see a drop. Yeah, he's looking for a bit of action down the guts. Beautiful. Does he look? He's got to get no. this one. Oh, yeah, no, see it. you later. He's got a good result. And he put his hand up. Uh, he uh, yeah. that wasn't what he was playing for, but he he'll take the result. Absolutely. I'd like to say it was on the card, but a dead end doesn't go on the card. I'm going to replay that one. See where the, the jack gets put away from the shadows. Good to see Ben Twist. As, uh, he's he's on board watching and hey Benny. Galloway's. Hey Benny. Good luck up there in your trials. Great performance Benny put on up at uh, Moama. It, uh, yeah, I saw some yeah, of it. Really Did you, you would have seen most of it? Yeah, really, really good. Really good. It was great, uh, yeah. Benny. Well done. And last Sunday he was excellent yeah. last Sunday. I've just got to find out how he bowls the sunglasses <laughs> at night. <laughs> at he, night. Well, <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. He's the best looking dude in bowls. And he can bowl. <laughs> he can back it up too. As you see Simo in our night game against Bandura, he had the black wall paint on, on his now, cheeks. Now, had he been watching the American football that night before or something? I don't know. You'd have to ask him, but apparently it's the reflection of the lights. It is. They wear it underneath their eyes yeah. for the reflection. And when I saw that, someone said it. I said, Simon does not leave anything to chance. If he thinks it's a good idea to give him it's a... very a, thorough. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He'll do it. He didn't have it on last week against us during the day. <laughs> Maybe it was... <laughs> Something different, but it wasn't at night. Well, let's see if he can put it on tomorrow. Let's yeah. The boss man himself has helped us out here. Tony Sherwell says it's biomechanics, Gus. There Thanks, you know. Tony. He's just <laughs> la raised the, level, the IQ level here. This is, why, this is why we like to have Tony on board <laughs> at nights. Tony's probably s sitting there, like, you know, taking notes of all the things he's got to remind us what we didn't do today. Probably. Right, start, what a Lenny. start. What a start, Lenny Callis. You're awesome, mate. Yep. Front toucher. Multi international, isn't he? Yes. yes. Malta? Yep. Uh, Commonwealth Games. Yep. Wow. Yep. Did and he medal? Uh, look, they may have cast one for him. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Such an honour to represent your country anyway, either way. But if you ever want to get down to Altona, and Lenny will be here at a table. He could tell you some stories All about it. Oh, practice. Every day of the week. Yeah. Does he? Yeah. Yep. He and his lovely wife, Sharon, they're lovely. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. That rain's still coming down just sli ever so slightly. It's just that annoying kind of drizzle, isn't it, for the players? This is two rippers. Oh, yeah. And a change of hand, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, done, Lenny. Yeah, I didn't know. Was he playing backhand around the clock? No. He, he, no, he played his first on the yeah. forehand, yeah. So. Was that to try and sit? I think he's trying to cover the back. Yeah. yeah. Characteristic that one. Mm. He's, got one. he's got one past the jack, so yeah. I oh, look can't be too disappointed. Could greasy balls? I mean, it could have slipped out. You just never know, you know. Next 
next 15 ends is crucial. It's, it's evened up on the overall score. See if any, either team can get some momentum going. It's very close, isn't it, Chris? Yeah. There's Barbara Green from Perth. Did we mention her earlier? Not yet, no. Yeah. She's saying... Um, Water clock. They were going to have two women two in the Perth Suns. Yep. But the closure, yeah. You're, um, but that's all opening up now, Barbara, I think. Oh, so. so Carmen's saying that. Carmen. Mm. Hopefully that's all coming behind us. Yeah, with WA. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I think all the states have done a great job. Done what they've had to do. We're lucky where we live, Gus. Yeah. Living in Australia. Yeah, really. just, yeah, well, what's going on? Yep. And everyone understands that. It needs to drop. Yeah, the worst thing I've got to worry about at the minute is our elevator's out in our apartment block for three days. And Gee, how will you survive? You well, it's, I'm thinking dust? this is good for getting the kilos <laughs> off, so that's good for me. But my poor dog, who's got bad hips, is not liking the four-storey walk up and down the steps. No. The poor little boy. He's like... Oscar, yeah, isn't it? Roger. Isn't it? Roger, sorry. And uh, he just goes to the lift door. Okay. Mm. First world problems, Gus. Yeah, first yeah. world Poor old Lenny's bowls are under attack. Well, this is his teammates. He's just trying to play their shot yeah, first, you know. Get it's in there early. Yeah, it's yeah. good. He's changed things yeah. around. He got a second shot. Much better. Good shot, Bubba. It's actually made it a lot better. Brad Jan has just asked, where's Brett Foley? Axel is not playing this season. I think he went home. Moved to uh, Shepparton. He's Shepparton. playing for Shep Golf. Yeah. Skipping down there. It's a great addition to there. Oh, they were already strong before uh, mm. before Axel went there, so mm. I think they've won five or six mm. flags in a row, Shep Golf. I might be wrong, but yeah, very strong club. Is Brad all there? Yep. Yeah. Got a bit of purpose about it, this bolt. He's got this, hasn't he? He's got a... Yeah, it's nice to hold. It's got a hold. Yeah, got it. Got yeah, it. So what wow, a what a shot. Never looked like missing. No. He's <laughs> playing well. Mm. First on here, isn't it, when the jack swings out? Yeah, you'd think for, for Bubba, with his leading abilities. Yeah, he'll, he'll be on this. Front hopper. Yeah. Well, he's finished about a yard behind. Good attempt. We can't quite see the shot bowl, which is behind the head. Got a yard of room here for a uh, It's on the six foot mark, actually. Uh, this might change something. There we go. We might be able to see it now. Yeah. Damo's fixed it up. Yeah, that's uh, number one shot. Well played, Damo. Two very good bowls, springing it out and then drawing the shot. It's funny, we're usually on the side of the rink, but we're behind the rink today, and the players are right here in front of us, and you can feel the intensity. Yeah, you, can. you know, they are really focusing. There's another one on the, another one on the peg. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost count now. So have I. It's double figures. <laughs> Just comes with the territory. At least if you ever play someone like yeah. Fergal and you want to get in their heads, try and stand on the peg. <laughs> Chasing after this yeah. one looks to be slightly quick. He's got it. Oh, he's got the jack. What a oh. shot. The turning bowl, Tris. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Brilliant. Only quick if you miss. I was, I was about to call hole, but it turned. Great shot for two mm. there. Puts the pressure straight back on uh, Dino. Chalking he, his own touch up. Well, it's a tough gig and you've got to chalk your own bowls. Yeah. <laughs> or. Give chalk and 
tapes to thirds who too cheap to buy them. <laughs> not mentioning anyone. I wonder who's third in our ring. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he's an umpire, isn't he? We've it? got a team measure, apparently. He's an umpire. You'd think he would. Yeah. A team measure? Yeah, apparently. That's mm. funny. Is that yours that yes. he just uses? Oh, it wasn't far away. He might get second. Oh, I don't know. Good effort. Good. Good first attempt. That's second. He's got another one. I don't know about that. I would almost put my house at that second. Players aren't giving much away, are no, they? No, they're not. Help. Well, the heads are changing every bowl. They don't, know what's, they don't know what's going to happen. All they know is that Fergo's going to play another good bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dino's going to play a good one. You know? oh, it's, it's brilliant, man. Great to watch. He's playing a title line. He's looking for that bowl. Clear the front pack. No, see, he's disappointed with that. Right idea. He might have to uh, run run at the jack here. Might not be able to draw the shot, so two go, options. Guys. He can run the jack in or get the orange out. Well, he's got a nice gate to come through. He this goes. has got to let go. Oh, this has got to let go. i be a bit quick to let go. Yeah. yeah. That's just, this rain's been coming down for about an hour now, and that's just evidence of that, that holding. Hold yeah. 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 Yep. are pretty quiet at the moment. I think everyone realises what an important part of the match this is. They're all taking their time on the mat. Yeah, you can kind of feel it, can't you? There's a, it could be turning point coming, like someone often tears away about now. It's another short end. Uh, he's been leading up well on this length, Lenny. Pretty handy start again. Be happy with that. Never far away. Just over halfway now. You still backing in Bundy here? I know you, they were your pre-game pick. Me? Yep. Jeez. That's a good shot from Ben Hubbard. Altana, sorry, you picked Altana. I did. Yeah, so. I just, it's not looking good. And yeah. Uh, it's close. See, I got out of it. I didn't pick anyone. I know, you just I got out of it. Classy gas. <laughs> Slip me there. But look, it's 39 all. I could still pick a winner, couldn't Come I? Come on, pick Give one. it to us, mate. Halfway. I'm going Altana. Home side. Yeah, okay. Mm. And they've got so much to play for yeah, tonight. Yeah, they have. Um, it's just been an awesome game so far. Mm. What about you, Chris? Did you answer your own I question? I never answered it at the start. <laughs> yeah. I, I, th I thought Altona would win this game. Ah, oh, everyone's on board. Okay. But there's plenty of time left. Our um, weather girl from Ballarat, Andrea, mm -hmm. is saying it's absolutely raining down here. <laughs> she didn't use the word raining. No. But um, that's what it is. Does that mean we're going to get it? Or do you think it... I think uh, Josh Corliss just got a six on that uh, in rink. Six shots, Good. so Josh Corliss with a six. Was that the drive? No, 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 that was no on the end rink. So D-Max dropped a six there. 16, 11 now on 13. Wow. Could that be the uh, the momentum turner? Could be. Should have waited a couple of minutes for my prediction. <laughs> Mil yeah, Mills is just saying that one slipped. It's getting pretty greasy out there now. 
yeah. It's been steady, steady drizzle for yeah. And it gets to that stage where your rag's getting wet as well. Like there's some belief. You can't keep anything dry. Sometimes you're just better off not trying to dry the bowl and just play it, pick it up wet. Yep. Just play it wet. Here, there's a theory. Tommy Wistick says that. Just pick Does it up he? with all the dirt on it and the grass on it. Just pick it up and grab it. You've got some grip. And away you go. You know, it's tough for these uh, fly-in players like Gary and Berg that are come down on the Friday night and then they're not playing again until Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yep. You've got to spare, especially Ferg with his young family. It's a big commitment. It is, isn't it? So he's doing the two games, I, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's actually playing golf tomorrow, I think he said. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell his, I hope his wife isn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> well. I mean, he's here on work, isn't he? Yeah, he's working. Yeah. 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 But Don't tell the tax office that. I think he's loving fatherhood with Indy and Sam. Yep. Yeah. Is he working at the it's club? Funny, it's funny you should mention that because he was uh, always um, Engadine. Yep. So he's been the bowls coordinator, yeah. I think, at Engadine for yep. the last five years or something. But he's got a new role. He's taking a role at St John's Park. Okay. Yeah, starting on the 1st of April. How many how many more roles could they have at St John's Park? Oh, it's pretty prestigious, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> they just keep going there. Massive club there. Yeah, it is. A lot of uh, Australian reps have come through there. In. Yeah, no doubt about it. Far away to drawing another here. He has too. Oh, I'll play demo. Shot demo. Where did Chloe Stewart end up? She's is she moved again? Did she move she's from her original club that she was at? Which which one did she? She went up. I don't know when she left Vic. She went. She went to Broadbeach. Broad I think she's at Tweed still Tweed, now. Right. Tweedheads. Yeah. Which is where Wendy Wilson used to be. She was on the board there, but Wendy's gone to Brisbane, I think, because right. I play with Wendy in the Oz Open generally. Oh yeah. Bye -bye. Great shot. Leaves Altona with three seconds. Trying to get another one in there. Demo. Even if he trails the jack a little bit here, he's all right, isn't he? Yeah, he's scoring. Yeah. Trail the jack back for three if he gets... No, he's a bit short. See, uh, Fergo's natural instinct is to be aggressive at this. Yeah. You know, land that ball for a number, but... See if he considers the danger of any jack movement. I think all the bowls down the line belong to Bandura, so... He might just he might try and sit it out with the hard weight, which is less weight. They don't even own the back out to the left. Yeah, so he will try and sit the bowl. Just yeah. So you mean when you say hard weight, you mean the difficult? Yeah, the difficult the, weight. Mm, yeah. yeah, not as fast. Slower. Yeah, yeah. Spot on, Chris. That's the weight he's playing. He's just a bit skinny. It's all. He snuck around. He snuck through, so he's, he's mm. probably got back his bowl now. He's probably he's probably looking to land on Damo's bowl, really, not yep. Lenny's bowl. Yeah, the danger's just the yeah. jack. The jack, so. So the coloured bowl, if you can see that, he's trying to come just across the head onto that and flop down. Mm. Maybe get them both. Yep. He needs another close one here, Dino. Well, he needs to change it a bit. <laughs> He's going to give. He's going to use that. He's good. Okay. Oh, it's a shelf. It's good. It's good bowl actually. Hmm. It is. A lot harder for Fergo to get a bigger number now. It's almost worth him going it now with that back bowl he put in, was it? Let's see what he does. Certainly helps with that back bowl. Gives him some options, doesn't it? Yep. You didn't have the option before. Mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. oh, just mm -hmm. there's three. Is two down there, is he? Three, maybe, is it? That's Lenny's ball at the yeah. back. One and a look. Mm. Okay, Lenny's cutting. Yeah. 
Dino can't get to that ball, can he? No, I think he would just be trying to draw another. He's happy to get those shots yeah, because shot. that moves them off that nasty nine they've been stuck on. Yep. Yeah, it stops the three ends in a row there. It's had yep. a one or two. Don't know yet. Had to put it on the board. Two. Twelve, eleven. Hello from Tongala Bowling Club. That's one of my favourites for the Vic Open. Oh, yep. Tongi. Yep. Hello, Sam. Lion from Tongala. Welcome. I love the country names. One U. Tongala. Yeah. <laughs> one U, two sheep. Um, what a hilltop in Queensland. Yeah. Sounds like a bakery, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Like fluffy bread. I just want to go there and eat. <laughs> tip top. Is tip top. The, is that the bakery? Yeah. Yep. I know there was a hilltop. Bakery in Borwin oh, that we used to get cakes from. Yeah, mm. Mum used to always go there. What do you reckon they're saying in this rink meeting, guys? Uh, well, we've got the map back. Let's we'll take a big breath. Yeah, it's what? been it's been a quite a long yeah. quite a long break in the game. Yeah, it's reset now. What are we up to? Third quarter. They would probably try and change the length. I would yeah, think. Yeah, I think the front two probably go need to, to try ditch. and get some ascendancy back. Mind you, I think I'd be saying to the guys, we're, we're eight up on the board, we're doing our job. So, like, although they've, ha they've had been running second in the last quarter, I think they'll still be happy with what's going on. Yep. Pat Shram said to me, Hilltop is at Chuchura in Victoria, so I wasn't even close. There must be. <laughs> it is. She's quite right. I don't even know my... I should know my Victorian clubs better than that. Fair enough. Yeah, thanks, Pat. That's good to know. Another one here from Dorigo, Dorigo in New South Wales. Hello. Kay. From Bo. I'm surprised they didn't change the length there. I, I, I it's a little bit longer. Start by Brad. Good yeah. start. Good. I think it's because the message is we're going okay. Yeah, right. You know. Keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, it's a bit longer, I guess. Yeah. Now, I looked at my finals predictor, guys. I've made a mistake. I, I went against Altona in that, so I can't. I won't change my pick now, though. I, I cast forward the three weeks, Tris, to see what we had to do. So you're still with Altona? I'm, I'm going to stick with that because I like what they're doing. I'll check in again in five ends and see if you've changed your mind again, okay? I'll toss a coin <laughs> then. <laughs> yeah, you know me too well. Great shots, Brad. Fantastic leading. Be searching up here, I'd say, Lenny. He's missing, he's going to pass the jack. Just lacking the weight there for what he was after. Wasn't much in it. No, uh, he, he wouldn't be very happy with that one. Tris is on camera work now. I'm very impressed. Multitasking, Gus. Well, <laughs> quick learner. Till I stuff it up, just wait. <laughs> as long as you don't put that um, one that looks at us. <laughs> <laughs> it's disconcerting that camera, I can see it. It's brilliant by uh, Milsey. Five bowls there with five bowls within a foot. Yeah. It's uh, pretty good. Was that Nick? Standard. Yeah, Nick kills an end next door. Yeah, that's a great shot. Well, he's, he, he's a bit forgotten in all this. I mean, he's been a great addition to this team, hasn't he? Yeah. Plays third when, when Ben Twist is here and yep. skips when he's away. So He does the same job that Benny Hubbard does on the other. They step back and, yep. and play three. That, that 
you know, they, they've worked it out. They don't just throw them in anywhere. They've got a plan. Yep. They're flexible. That's probably the most important thing. Nick could easily skip a rink Absolutely. every week. So. Nice little forehand swinger here. Or backhand swinger, it doesn't matter. He's going backhand, is yep. he? Yeah. He's got to play through his shot bowls or move the jack back. Yeah, well, there's not a lot of danger. Those bowls are not going anywhere. You want to get these ones with your first bowl? Yeah. It's pretty good to me. Yeah. No. Oh, it's oh. Great shot, it? Worst it's result. Redful yeah. result. Mm. It turned, it, it's, it's, it's pulling at that last couple of feet. That did look good. Playing their shot when they're here, trailing the jack. Yeah. Play their shot. You got to change that He's head. Very close. It's got, got it. Got it. Yeah, wow. Shot. Yeah, mm. good shot. Shot Milsey. Yeah. That sets up a nice head for them, doesn't it? Again, they got to beat him in here. It's a game of who's in first, isn't it? Yeah. Putting pressure on the opposition, you know, getting the shot. Yeah. This is a good effort too. Just got to hold a bit. Needs to run it out. He's got the legs. Just, just okay. left it short. Still a good spot. I mean, they've got that. Can be used. Yep. I played next to Gussie the other day, and it was just Gussie all day for him and me. It sounded like I played oh, a ripper. Jeez, that'd keep your confidence up nice and high, wouldn't it, Gus? <laughs> <laughs> he was he was right next door to me. It's not far away, yeah, Damo. Yeah, he turns at once. Wow, that's just still a fantastic uh, shot. Uh, it fell in. What an end we're having here. Mm. That's what we came to see, mate. Yeah. Firm shot on the forehand to play through the head. It's a big bowl, this one. What is he, three down? Is that right, I think? Well, Lenny's there. It's one and a measure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, one and a measure, yeah, Lenny at the side. So what are you, what's he hoping to get this bowl in the middle yep. and then work yeah, towards the kitty? Yeah, yeah, correct, yep. Pop and run? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. no. It's not all bad. He's opened the front up a bit. And he's got a back bowl. Yep. That's actually good. Yep. They can play different. Yeah. like he's uh, mm. he was trying to land that blue one. Yeah, I don't know. That was different. The cannon through the pink is, works good for them too, so... I, he's finished it, in a good spot. It looked like it was a deliberate bowl to me, the, the way bowl, he pushed yeah. that out. Yep. I'd give him credit the way he, he's been playing that uh, he wouldn't have missed by that much. Yep. Ah, oh, it's a good home anyway. Yeah, he... He's he probably did. just saving it for Dino. Saves a shot for Dino. Well, why not? Dino's playing him, you know, yep. like... He likes the stage. Yeah. You know. Did I say Axel's online? Axel's watching. Ah. After, so welcome, Axel. Go A's. Good to see him supporting his old teammates. Yeah. We've well, got a real spread today. Yeah, he's pretty close here. 
Oh, oh stiff. Played two good shots. That really. was the ball he wanted to use. Played two pretty good shots there. Just got the wrong edge, didn't yep. he? Mm. I think he wanted to get it direct without the touch, yep. um, mm. but he nearly got it with the touch. Mm. Have we got every state covered today, Tris? We've had Perth. I think so, yeah. We've got Denise Knight from yeah. Tweed Heads now. Was that right, Denise? Chloe's at Tweed, isn't she? I think. Yeah, looks yep. like we've had a few states. Yeah. yeah. Good. And South Africa. Yeah. International. Yep. Covering again here. She needs to get to that blue bowl. He's apologised there. He's left a bit short. So is the front bowl the shot bowl? Yeah. He'll be holding two, two. here, Bundy. So yep. they're just trying to stop Virgo from getting the jack to the blue one, to yep. the right of screen. Well, he can now. Yeah. He can get to it. And... Are we trying to trail that? Yeah. Forehand trail to yep. Bubba's bowl at the back there? Yep. <coughs> yeah, mate. Three. It will pull it, away. It it will pull at the end. Oh, mm. Too much. Mm. He's got to use this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure no. if that's the shot or not. Wasn't too far away from no. what he was trying to do. So now this is another perfect example, right? Dino's pointing at that, going, well, I'll play through the pink onto our bowl, mm. move the jack back to the two that they're holding, but they're going to play something to change the head yep. so that Ferg doesn't get two looks at the same shot. No, nah, because you can't give him two shots at this. He was so close. Yeah. He's under. Mm. Okay. It's all right. I'm not sure he had enough weight for the shot. Yeah, not, I don't know. Far bad for me to tell <laughs> Dino how to play a shot. I mean, <laughs> he's awesome. Just while he's walking up, guys, we've got uh, we've got Brad from Nevada, USA, watching. Hey, Brad. And uh, now we've got Tassie covered. David okay. Sims in Tassie. Yep. It's great. I'd see you. See if he can get the jack this time. Can use the orange also he nearly. Can. Yeah, it was very close with his first. He's really thinking about this one. I think he's distracted with next door. Yeah. Yeah. Good big bowl. He's taking the short road with a bit of weight. Yeah, tighter than his nah. first. Mm. Sure, if it's one or two there, one, one to Bundy. I can understand why. I mean, you don't want to miss wide. Nothing for wide. Maybe didn't feel that orange one would give him much assistance. Working off the edge of the yeah. orange, yeah, maybe. It was only a bowl short. He probably had a close look at it. Game's plateauing again. There's only a six shot difference. Oh, short. Okay. Just shows how much the green's pulling up. That looks like a new um, rain jacket by Lenny. Maybe new for this season, do you think? Or he just hasn't used it? It's a pretty plain one. I wouldn't want to see my old. Can you wash those things? Can you put the washing machine, can't I don't know. I've had some pretty crowdy ones at the bottom of my bowls back <laughs> over the years. <laughs> I never like wearing them. No. Reminds me of the trout fishermen that used to go. <laughs> right. You've been dreaming about this, have you? <laughs> <laughs> waiters, you're in talking. The waiters, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Just the whole outfit, mm. the whole mm. kit. The concept of getting in the water and 
fishing. Yeah, the whole kit. Well, I'd have to say, the, as an eight bowlers, I don't want to moz the game, Chris and Tris. Mm -hmm. The eight bowlers, it's been probably the best I've seen. Yeah, it's a very high standard. I think the green has a lot to do with it. Yeah. Big drive next door from Gary Kelly. There are no passengers in this game. No, there are not. I don't know much about Gary. Chris, do you... Give us a bit of an insight. He, he, is he married? Uh, we, you know. I just know he's uh, comes from Ireland. He's yep. uh, actually made their Commonwealth game squad. So, yep. Um, so he'll be playing. Yeah, credit in to him for that. Yep. Plays a lot of uh, you know the BPL and stuff for Danny on Pulse and yep. Been a very successful player since he's come to Australia. So professional, isn't he? Yeah. Here from Millsy. Someone rang up Neil Mitchell played, the, the week last week and said that someone comes from Queensland, a lawn bowler comes down from Queensland and he gets paid two grand to come down <laughs> and Neil was Neil was aghast <laughs> by that. I'm thinking probably getting more than two grand actually. Yeah. You know? <laughs> he couldn't believe it. It's cheap. Mm. Cheap. I did hear something about that actually. Mm. Yeah. Now I think the price is that, that might be the nineteen you know, 2000 price, That's I it. think. Oh, I think it's great that these guys, it's its their living great and they, des they deserve to be paid to play and they make our game great. The only thing I know about Gary Kelly, because he was beside us the other week when we played, is that I can't understand a word he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and Pardon, what? <laughs> And I was playing when we were playing Alex the other week. I'm Scottish, and I didn't understand anything <laughs> he said. <laughs> yeah, same, same actually. <laughs> so, the more time you spend with them, the yeah. easier they are to understand. Yeah, close here, good shot. You got Brilliant shot, Melzy. Beautiful, beautiful um, to listen to. Yeah, the lilt of them, and just the beautiful people. Yeah. You want some disturbance here? Doesn't look. Mm. Mm. He doesn't. That one. Uh -oh. Back cut. Oof. Hi, Chopper. Brenna Miller. Nice to see you. See you're on board. Wishing Dino well. Do you think there's any Australians, Chris, bowling overseas in England? They're getting paid like our guys. We bring them across here. Does any of our guys go I across? I think the sport is very different over there. Yeah. I just had some conversations with my old friend Ben Major. Yep. Of course, he used to be a Premier League bowler here himself. Yep. Living in Scotland now, and it's it's a whole different game over there. I think they've got a lot of catching up to do as far as our pennants goes and stuff. Yep. So, you know, I highly doubt that, that anyone's playing overseas. But yep. Ooh. We're very lucky. Uh, to, when I hear from him, I feel very lucky to be able to play here and how big the sport is. Is he playing there? He was, but he's lost the enjoyment yeah. for that reason. And because it's very one-dimensional? Yeah, he's, yeah. Mm. And, uh, and the greens aren't great. And no disrespect to the game, because no, of course. it's fascinating to watch the skill level. Yep. Yep. It's a different game. So but I just sometimes find that I'm sitting there after an hour going, could you just have a drive, please? <laughs> <laughs> Stop drawing a second shot. Oh, and there's fantastic <laughs> players that, that come from that, that part of the world, but... <laughs> Well, look, there's some development to do in terms of attracting people to the game, and they, you know, they're working on things. Yeah. Bowls here hasn't always been like this either, so no, it hasn't. There'll be a transition period in those countries as well. There's a big gum. That's a good bowl from Damo. Sorry, he's mm. he was asked to put in back bowls, and he's he's done putting them there. Yes, yeah. no, he's he's playing well. That's a resting toucher back there. There's a big uh, uh, 
innovative tournament going on at Dandenong tonight, the finals of a, a big pairs. dollar tournament in pairs. Yep. Um, it's a pretty innovative sort of uh, thing. It was uh, five ends, uh, 35 minute games. You played four games to qualify yep. um, throughout the last couple of weeks. Uh, three grand uh, up for grabs for the winning pair. And uh, that's on tonight. So um, it'll be interesting to see how that's going. But a great innovation by uh, uh, Robbie yep. um, down there. Is and that Rob Sharp and Rob Wilson? Robbie yeah. Wilson yeah. Uh, has put that together and uh, and Chris, Chris Wallace. Wallace. Yeah. And I was talking to Chris on Wednesday yeah. and said, well, you could do this four times a year, you know. It's very popular. It filled up really quickly. Yeah. I mean, did you play in it? Yes, on Wednesday. How'd you go? Were well, you here? So. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We did all right, but it's five ends. It's good. It's brutal. We lost three to Fisher and... Dylan the first end. They, they won it, didn't they? Yes. Yeah. They were chasing them, so yeah, right. um, you don't want to chase in a five-end game, do you, Chris? No. It's under the pump here for Goey's. Again? He's probably, he's probably four down. Well, he's been doing the job. He's pulled up short with that one. Hello, Marzi. Welcome aboard. And our friend Dan. Yes, that is. Hey, Dan, haven't seen him for a while. Hope you're well, mate. I did a lot of walking with Dan and Dean, actually, okay. and uh, Dean's partner, Bria, and yep. spent a bit of time with Em and Marzi over COVID. Oh, great. Good. Yeah, good to have some walking buddies. Big walks, like 25Ks and stuff. Wow. Yeah. It's good. Keep them fit. I wouldn't walk 25Ks in a week, Tris. <laughs> <laughs> now, were you able to keep up with Marzi? Oh, he's, he's, he's a machine, isn't he? Is, he? He's so fit. He punches it out. <laughs> This is a massive bowl, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Let's focus. I think he's four or five down. He's got a ball to land. Look it's at coming. He's got a ball to land. Oh, he's got it. Wow. That is a absolutely John Oliver shot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly oh, they run from everywhere. Way. High fives. Yeah. What a huge shot. Six shot turnaround. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, anyway, Bundera put them there. They'll put them there again. You know, they'll Bundy just, keep, just keep putting the pressure keep on. Keep putting the pressure on them. That's exactly right. You've got to expect. That's one of the things I noticed in one of the games. Yep. Like, you know, when someone gets upset when you take the shot away, like, expect it. Don't be disappointed. Yeah. You know. Dino goes straight back into skipper mode. Let's go again. He will. Yep. Someone of Dean's calibre. And the rink. It can be uh, pretty uh, morale crushing to hold a number like that, you know, yeah. and get it saved on the last bowl. So, so yeah, I mean, you'd love you'd love to hold it. Yeah. But you did get your six, so we five does, there. It does hurt to not get it, though. Yeah, it does. Um, you know, you can't. You can't say that you're jumping for joy. No, for that. exactly. No. no. Even in your subconscious mind, it definitely affects you. Do you think as you get more seasoned with Prem that you expect they are going to do it, though? I, I mean, it's not I a surprise so. that they do it. It's still disappointing. It yeah. still hurts. Yeah. You know. It's that regrouping uh, mentally, you know, yeah. and trying to do it again. Yeah. And not let it carry on, I but guess. Dean's, I like Dean's stand. attitude here. He's, he's really revving the boys Absolutely up. Absolutely. Yeah. He's right back onto it. I think you've just got to look at the glass half full and say, well, we got them there, boys. All right, we didn't get it that time. Yeah. Let's go again. Right. Brilliant, uh, Brad. Great shot. He's improved a lot. I know you said this earlier, but from my point of view as well, yeah. the last couple of years, yeah. His last he was in and years. out of the side, mm -hmm. so he yeah. seems to have cemented himself here. He's... His brother's here too. Yeah. They've both th they've both probably worked together. Yep, Jason's over. Yep, on the uh, Lukey's rink, yep. I think, is it? I think they actually work pretty hard at Bundura. Tony Chevalier is still coaching there, and they. Yeah. I know Dean tells me some of the stuff they do. They 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 do a lot of drills and record keeping. Tony's a good coach. I can tell Great you when shots. when Bundura beat us a couple of weeks ago at Yarraville yeah. Footscray. Um, uh, Luke, he was going, you know, he said, let's get back on the track, guys. You know, they won, yeah. but he wasn't happy with that. You know, yeah, they, okay. they're, they're not used to being second, they, they, 
They work hard. Maybe not as hard as you guys at MCC. I had the pleasure to see one of your workouts one Thursday by mistake. You were going hard at it. Wow, that was full blown. Yeah, Thursday night. So yeah, good. Training night, big training night. Yeah. Tonga Wilson's rink uh, got a four there, so they've kicked away to a 19-7 lead on that rink. Wow. It's starting to make a difference, Yeah, I think it? I'm seeing Luke drive a lot. So he's obviously not getting much in the head from his front end. Yeah. I think they'll they'll need to turn that around if they want to yeah, just pick it back, win hey? this game. Yeah. Mm. Tony McCaldy there, Casino, leading for Nathan Wilson, is playing excellent. Um, now, I've seen Luke come back from a few scores like this before this year. He's, he's shown a lot of resilience coming back in games. He's ultra competitive. Yeah, he's added that now. I think yeah. he's added that. I think all of us in the early days, you, you can be beaten early, but um, he he can fight back now. He's got the and he's got a great team in front of him. Do you have anything, without giving away anything at MCC, Tris, but do you have any working quarters, five ends, six end groups? Do you have meetings? Do you do stuff like that, or is it just seeing what happens in the game? Oh, yeah, no, we definitely, yeah. we definitely break ours down into yeah. quarters. Yeah. Good ball here. Wow. He got it on the nose. Yeah, it's a good hit, wasn't it? He loves it. He's punching. He, he, he liked that, because... He played one that was swung under earlier, and he, 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 he back to the well, and he played a beautiful ball. Oh. Wow, this is um, this game's unfolding into a blockbuster. Mm. Yeah, so we break it down into quarters, and we keep stats for the quarters okay. by rink and by team as well. Yeah. That get published every week. Good. So, like last week on the Sunday, for example, that last quarter we were 18 down. In the last sort of 18 shot, 19 versus. You know Can you tell me how many ends? <laughs> Went out of that because I can't get that information. It's terrible. No one's talking about. <laughs> yeah. Do you Our guys break it down into quarters? Do you do? That? Uh, no, no. Chris is nodding. Chris yeah, says. we definitely do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they might do it internally. I, I haven't. Yeah. I don't. Maybe they don't trust the leads with that sort of information. One in all in. <laughs> Keep it simple. Oh, just roll the kitty, mate, and get him close. Yep. I think it's become fairly standard at this level. Uh, yeah. You know, you don't want to drop numbers when you play the game in, in quarters or segments. It just helps with the game awareness, I think. Like, yeah. pull the rink in and have a quick chat, mm -hmm. you know. I was watching Lindsay do some interviews at Moama, and any time she went up and asked one of the players something like, yeah, have you got any plan for this? What do you think you should do? And it's like, yeah, get him close. Just get them close. Yeah, need a bit more than that. Yeah. Great shot again, Brad. Yeah, Brad stepped up. The rain's getting uh, a bit heavier, so... Maybe he's a, he's been playing well the whole game, but maybe he just likes the rain. <laughs> Certainly handling it well at the moment. Remember that game Hawthorne played against GWS and Canberra in the snow? <laughs> and Clarko just said, embrace it. <laughs> embrace the rain. Interesting choice of words. Yeah. Yeah few places they'd probably rather be. Yeah, but they won. Sometimes you just got to get on with it. Like uh, Braddy is. Look at this. He's just getting on with the job. That's awesome bowling. Dino like that. Yeah, two rippers. Really. Yeah, and he had two on the last hand. I mean, this is all you can do is go back, to put them back there. Looks like a fair effort if he's here. What is the best that one? That's why you get two, Gus. Yeah. I'm sure he'll correct with his next. That's why I play triples. Yeah. <laughs> you get three. Three ball pairs. <laughs> yeah. Or four bowls on my own when I'm practicing. <laughs> Unlike your dad who gets five. You know, he yeah, plays he, five yeah, bowls. Yeah, he had that yeah. uh, 
So I get, to, I get to pick up all his bowls, and he gets a fifth bowl. <laughs> Just keeps it in the bag. I feel like I'm playing against someone with ten bowls. Yeah. Good practice, though. Pidge just said you guys slow the game down, don't we, Gus? I'm not sure what that's about, but... Who said that? Pidge. Pidge? Yeah. Slowing the know. game down? I don't know. I wouldn't have thought so. No, Pidge is the quickest. He's... Oh, he's... He's quick. He, he just is. gets on with the job, and he... Like, he... he he just gets on a roll. He just goes. He's uh, there, so he doesn't muck around, does he? No. Second with that. Yeah. And bowls BV van. 60 ends constitute. So if the rain was to come down, um, Which it is. we're five ends off constituting a right. game. Which would mean the, the person that's leading would win. Yeah, yep. that's right. Mm. Oh, he's not far away here. Wow. Cracking shot there, Millsy. Millsy. Mm. The biggest problem when it's raining is keeping that card dry, isn't it? Keep a nice card. It is for some. Yeah. Tommy? Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should buy him one of those card holders. I think he's got one. I saw him, I saw him the other day. He's got a red one. How dare he go and buy something without asking me? <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you let that go through. Yeah, I know. You just reminded me to talk to him about that. Close. Yeah, very good. Close. Shot. Yeah. Yeah, good shot. Good home. That. Great home. Yep. So Paul Holt, she's just asked us, what are the, some of the secrets of playing successfully in the rain, guys? Well, we mentioned something earlier. As soon as the rain started, I like to see the leads and the twos getting bowls and drying them and, and putting them up on the bank. Yep. I always do that. I think that's an important thing to set your bowls up. Um, uh, wet weather bowling suits some people. I mean, sometimes, you know, you, you're keeping your bowl dry is not, not the thing, you know, just spread the fingers, make sure you've got a good hold of it, and be up. Yeah. Yeah, that's the key, I think, Gus, you've, you've just got to give it a chance. Yep. Um, we often say at our club, we've, our greens have been a little bit slow this year, but we always say to each other, you know, let it fly. Yeah. You're never, ever not going to get shot, uh, you know, not reaching, so yep. a bit of takeaway. Hardest take shot in the book, Smitty says, so, you know, the one to get shot when you don't reach. Yeah. <laughs> so... I think yeah. that's the key there. Try to trail the jack, I would say. You're, all, you're always agitating. You're always trying to move the jack at foot. Chase you know. the jack. Yeah. yeah. Especially your front ends. Drawing through the jack yeah. in the wet when things slow down. Yeah. And how, how many times do you see them get it? A lot. Yeah. You know. Well, if you pull up short, you're on. Yeah. 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 You know. Yeah. Yeah. We've been a bit... Lucky with the weather this year. We've had a pretty good summer. No washouts, no heat outs? No. Yeah. I remember a year we... In, so your uh, game, one of your games got washed out. It did. Yep. Uh, we couldn't get on the green. It was absolutely... Yeah, that's right. You could have gone fishing there. Yep. Yeah. It was disappointing. It was against Daltona, actually. Mm. Yep. Corner of the days where we're playing catch-up games, uh, two Premier League games yeah. in a yeah. day at the Brighton Indoor. So. <laughs> yep. That's a long time ago now. I think um, the double headers have been tough on some, um, obviously, but at the start of the year when they did the programming, that we didn't quite know how it was going to pan out. I mean, it's easy in hindsight. Um, we weren't sure how far through the year we'd get, but um, the double headers were like a, uh, a bit of a insurance. Wow, yeah. my word. That is uh, an absolutely premium result. Mm. Yeah, that's um, a good result. He did apologise. That's the nature of our sport, I guess. Uh, I think he's probably made three out of that. Here's the replay. I don't know if I want to watch it. I'll probably throw up, Gus. <laughs> <laughs> if you One thing I'll say about Dean, his demeanour is always... I mean, I see a lot of... Here we go, it's going bigger, this. Oh. Uh, good hit. He's, he's taken a couple out. Might be one down now. Yeah, good shot, Dean. Oh, Dean's yeah, on to it. I'd but his demeanour's good. Oh, yeah. You know, he just gets on with the job. There's no... Yeah, spot on. He didn't put yeah. his head down. No, he's he's ch he's changed that part of his game big time. I'm not saying that he didn't have a good demeanour, but it's something he's obviously worked on. Yeah. He lets nothing get in the way of what he's doing. I had a good talk to him up in Moama one night and uh, got a good insight into that. Yeah. It's 
it's something you fear when you play players like that, you know, because you know they're hard at it. Just a cool guy, you know. Yeah, yes. everything he does is just yeah. super smooth. He yeah. likes to sing as well. Like when has he got a favourite uh, country and western, or is oh, it? I'm not sure. You'd yeah. have to ask him. Right. Does do that in the regions. Has he got a good voice? <laughs> That's subjective. Right. That's a good home. <laughs> yeah, after a drive, it's a, it's a good attempt. He switched across onto the forehand. Just playing reaching weight. Very close, I reckon. He's very, very close. Got it. Oh, so That's so two stiff. Two great shots, yep. Two great yeah. shots. Well, he was three down. He was. And he's now... In close for shot, measuring, whatever. Yeah. It's a good, he's played two good, good balls. It's a good end, Dean. So Altona just edge in front. So, Chris, you're Dean O'Neill, you're skipping, you're in a good game against some very good quality players, um, and you're going, you're looking across at Lukey's rink, maybe, are you looking at the other rinks? Oh, definitely, immediately, straight away. Yep. At this point in the game, my are you mind thinking, goes to the overall. I know Lukey can away. come back from here. Yep. You trust? Yep. You can definitely, you know, lose the game on this rink, but you, I don't think it can be won from here. So no. It's going to be up to his other rinks That's to, right. to bridge that gap. Yep. So, straight away, you know, my, every every... Shot selection, my thought process goes straight to the overall yep. from now on. Yep. Dino's job is to keep this tight because it's going to be a tight oh, 100%. game. Um, you know, Nick Cahill there just getting a three, so Tony are, are stretching it out a little bit now. It becomes a bit of scoreboard pressure then. No. Yeah, they could. Well, there could come a point where Dean, Dean does need to yes, be more aggressive that's, that's and look exactly for shots. Right. So yep. that's why I say, you know. The overall's out to 11. Yeah. That's big in the context, in yep. in the fact that the rain's still coming down. Yep. Um, the heads are going to, you know, it's going to be hard to pick up those numbers. No doubt. Twelve-shot lead now. The A's. Um, I do need some spark. I think it's on that Cahill and Kelly rink. Nick's uh, comeback. It's on the last three ends. Well, the word must be out around Australia and the world because we've just hit a new uh, record high for uh, viewers on Bowls Vic. It must be having Tris on. Fantastic. I knew, <laughs> I knew it would work. Good luck, Tom. Um, Tris. Yeah, that must be it. Oh, definitely. You know. But um, let's keep going. Share this with your friends. This this game is 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 uh, not not finished by a long shot. So if you can get some uh, some of your bowler friends to tune in and see the those that like to tune into last quarters of games and see just the good stuff at the yeah. end. It's a good know. time to join us. I'd join now because dog has gone crazy. Uh, Nathan They're Wilson right. is playing some sort of game over there. Having a night out. Looks to be. Mm. Lukey under the pump once again. Dogger's pace. Oh, he's just a plays anything. He's just a gun, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Supreme confidence as well. Yeah. And and again, nothing really phases him. I guess a trademark of these top players. His gun Premier League skips. Nothing Didn't bothers them. No. Seven down. No. Doesn't matter. You've got to have that in you, don't you? You couldn't do it otherwise. Yeah. Luke's missed again, unfortunately. So looks like another multiple. <laughs> Well, Tona. Well, that's the rink, I think. If, if Bundy are any chance of bridging this gap... They need to pick that They back. need to start scoring over there. Yeah. And it's good to see Luke. He's there cheering his guys on, giving them... He's not going away. That's the thing, guys, isn't it, right? It lose, I always say, losing rinks win overalls. Right? Yeah. So you can lose your rink, but if you lose it by 
I don't know, single digits and the and the overall wins, then yep. you've done your job. Oh, you know? Yeah. Just Losing only have to wins. look at this game. Nick Cahill's come back. Um, That's it. Even Dane McKinnon was 16-10 down after dropping a six, and he's got it back to 16-15. So spot on there uh, what, yeah. with what you the just job. said there. Yeah. That's, that's what's got them this lead now, those losing rinks, that's bridging it. the gap. Shot posting! And the postman is delivered. Yep. That's Liam Turner. He had his birthday a couple of weeks ago. 18, I think it was. Oh, don't tell me that. Oh, yeah, serious. <laughs> it's not fair, is it? <laughs> we played them that night, yeah. <laughs> Twilight game. Poor thing got late to his own birthday. Oh, dear. It's good for the sport, though, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, these young guns coming through. Well, I was at Yarraville before I came here, and they had a, some kids from Altona and, and our club, and, and they're playing in the schoolboys tournament next Wednesday at MCC. Fantastic. Apparently, next Wednesday. Yeah. So if you want to go down and see some young kids, the school kids playing, and uh, they were having a full-on hit-out down there having That's a practice. Great. Yeah. That's great. Plenty of room here for Bubba. Back him in to draw another here. Shelling peas. Yeah. Just get that sense that every end that passes, it gets more and more difficult for Bundy. Not a whole lot of energy that they had earlier on in the game. I think I said it to you, Gus, before today's stream, that this is a quality, quality Altona outfit. Yeah. I mean, you got a Betty Lachlan playing three down there. You know, the one, wouldn't you love that? No, I mean, they have their full side in. And they what haven't had that. They're a top four side. In my they haven't opinion. had that all year, and that's been the problem. Um, well, they've still got two out tonight. Three, <laughs> actually. Yeah. Great effort, day, mate. Yeah, good shot. Now, Chris, a, a, a question for Deer Park. I, I heard a rumour if they get rid of that, if the roof is cleared off your green, you might play your final there. Is that giving anything away? I think only the last game would could be played on it. Yep. Um, is it a possibility? So, yeah, so the structure's been cleared and... Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. The last game of the year. Someone asked me, do they have to get, would they have to get permission? I said, no, it's their grain. Yeah. It doesn't matter if there's a roof on it or not. Yeah, no. Um, as long as it's safe to play on um, yeah. and it meets the standards, there's yeah. no holes in it. Yeah, it might have to be inspected by Bowles Vic. But yep. Yep. Um, great attempt there by Bubba. But yeah, that's, I'm not great. Sure. that's great to see the club getting back on its feet. With oh, that. definitely, yeah. You know? Just one of those freak accidents. And the club's done. You know, a lot of hard work, the players, to, to play on the greens and the greenkeeper. Well, I don't think a lot of clubs really realise, you know, you, that happened at the very start of your season. Yeah. With all your plans that you would put in place. Yeah. Um, you know, that would throw a lot of clubs. And yep. I know early days, but, you know, you, you got straight back up and, and you're just doing the job. Exactly, mate. So, mm. um, I know the clubs, I know Mark's very proud of the entire club. Um, you know, our fifth side play their home games at Rosamond, so... You know, that can't be easy, I'm sure, no. playing a home game in, a, in another venue. So it's a, it's a credit to all the players there. Absolutely. So and I know it's been through, yeah. hard with your training and, yep. and all that sort of stuff. No, very proud of it, everyone there so far. Do they have to do anything to the carpet before you can play on it? There was a hole. In there. Yeah, I believe it, there needs to be a repair done. Okay. Yep. Just trying to get inside the blue. Great effort. I guess the flip side of that is when you haven't lost a home game on the grass, yeah, why would you play on the carpet? But if it is playable, yep. I, I think it's, it's definitely easier to play on. Definitely. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, when they spoke to Alex in early days. Great cool tar. What a shot. A couple of rinks across. You know, you think you're coming from Scotland. Playing an indoor facility and yeah. you get there and it's not there and you and look the grass screen you had uh, that we played on was the other you know most of the rinks were fine yeah you know there's nothing wrong with that at all yeah it definitely has its moments and yep 
like Patches, any like any green. So, down. like you said, you've just got to push on and, and deal with it. I do think it's something that, um, and I know Tris would probably have something to say about this, but it'd be nice to see our Premier League clubs make sure that their greens are as good as they can be. I think that's important. We can see a great game here tonight because of good green. Yeah, so true. You know, we want to give our best players the best services to play on, and maybe it's something we haven't quite... Mastered? No. No. Mm. I don't know if there's a process around that or... I, well, I'm you're dealing sure. with a living, Spectrum. breathing, yeah, yeah. growing thing. I mean, it's not... How not, do you place not, that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Tough one. Yeah. And I know our greenkeepers out there and that do a magnificent job throughout the summer. I mean, no greenkeeper wants to lose their green. We're pretty spoiled, really. Mm. We are. Mm. I think we definitely are. Chance at a multiple here. It's got two, hasn't it? Yeah, so. Yeah. You can turn Millsy up or, or draw yep. under it. He's going to score a three. Not far away, is he? He's got to run. Oh, just mm. won't fall over that ball. Just a two. It's a two in the right direction. All square. Again. Hello, Tuddy. I see Paul Todorovic. Hi. He's online as yep. well. Hey, Paul. Tell us the rain is past, Paul. Just had a sneaky look over it. Nathan Wilson is holding four, drawing for five, with, and Luke's got uh, one to come, so. Wow. Well, okay. That is. Uh, Oh, that's the game. That's the game, in my opinion. If uh, Luke drops a number here, I, think I can't see Bandera coming back from this. Well, it's drawable. Four down he is. It's a drawable shot for Luke, isn't it? Yeah, he's probably got a foot for shot. Right. A couple of feet to, to get second. Or and third, at least. he's on the draw. I'd love to see him do it. You there? It doesn't look like it's turning for him. His weight was good, but mm. I think his line might be a bit off. Yeah, jeez. Yeah. Yeah, no. I'm not sure how many that was, but... Uh, two. Two. Oh, you, oh, over there, yeah. you mean, sorry. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. But, you know, even if it was a three or four there, they got no. two here. I thought you meant this ring. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure over there. I think it might have been four. Here we go. He's putting it up now. Oh. One. Oh, well. He drew second shot. Good job, Luke. Great effort, Loki. That's, yeah. that's game-saving stuff. Look at Brad, he's just put another two there. Just two nice, nice balls in the head. Yeah. Bad luck, Lenny. Good try, mate. You just kind of feel the atmosphere starting to change. Mm. Like we've just gone over the 60 end mm -hmm. mark and people, because Bundy sort of getting up and about a bit more. Yep. I feel like it's starting to shift a bit. It's Again. interesting, yeah. I know when we played you guys last Sunday, there was a time there where I felt that you ne you guys nearly thought you couldn't win it from where you were, and then it turned. Um, you know, maybe that was more hope on my <laughs> behalf, but there was a feeling that y you went back to work, I suppose, and, uh, you know... Yeah, well, that 19 in the yeah. last quarter. Well. Great. But there's it, something to be said for... You know, I think it does become a habit, you know, like if you believe that you can do it, you do it, well, it, it tends to, that's why you need a good start to the season, yep. right? Teams come out and lose a few games, you can fall into that habit of losing yep. as well. It can, and, and the one thing I did notice, I was talking to someone today, that I haven't been on the green at the end when these things have happened, we've been off, so it probably hasn't affected our rink, and our rink's going along pretty good, yep. um, and... 
because we haven't been there, we haven't been as affected by it. So you've got to look at all those things. The guys that have actually been in the trenches at the end must, it does wear on you. Yeah, I'm sure it, it takes its toll. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. You know, it's the same. It affects everything, really. Absolutely. You know? But I'm so proud of the way our guys have gone this year. We, you know, we've always been just hanging on the last couple of years, but, you know, we've really built something. We could have really had a good tilt at it this year had some things gone our way. Yep. We um, only had some very close yeah. losses. Yeah. yeah. And all good for next year. That's it. Not that we're out of it yet. No, I was just going to say mm. that. You guys are still... In with a chance. I mean, we've had that breath of fresh air at MCC. We've got a lot of new players this year. Adds a lot of energy, doesn't it? Well. Yeah. yeah, it does. Mm. There's depth, you know. Yeah. And you've got just nine sides in finals. Eight. Eight, eight out sides. of eight, eight for Saturdays. And the Tuesdays, I think, are in as well. So, yeah, eight out of eight at the moment. Mm. But hopefully, you know, we may not. You never know. Good ball here. But, yeah. Fingers crossed. Hard thing to do to balance that. I know, you know, balancing with the rules and all that, it's difficult. Yeah, I think the selectors have got their, yeah. their work cut out for them. Mm. Um, I'd like to, I was thinking the other day, I, 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 I'd love it if, um, with our bowls link and that, I'll, I'll talk to Maddie about this, but, you know, if all the information that goes into bowls link could somehow tell you who could go where, would be would be good. It would be helpful, yeah. I'm sure. Because we don't want to see players missing out on playing games because of the rules. And the rules weren't intended to do that. They were intended to stop finacling around with teams at the end. Yeah. Um, and they've been effective in doing that. But I do know that players are missing... They're not able to be selected. They're in, they're in the... Um, what do you call it? Uh, between the devil and deep blue sea. They... Mm. Neither here or neither there. But we'll work on that. Because our intention is that everyone plays bowls. It was only a... It, it was just a one. Yeah, so Lukey drew second shot. Yeah. You know, they're they're, they're game-saving things, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, definitely. They're good on you, Lukey. 14 shots. There is plenty of time, but they do need something special. <laughs> Drive coming here from Eltona on the next rink. Wow. There's still bowls to come. Be cleaned a few hours. Wumble. Fantastic yeah. drive. He's playing in the um, he's in the metro side, I think. And he's made our region side yep. as a second. Yep, he's, he's having a, new a fantastic season, yeah. so I'm glad he's being rewarded yeah, for that. No, he's been picked down to that. It's great. Wasn't far away, Bubba. I mean, Gary's got room on the next rink, so I'm sure he'll do something about that. Ah, well. uh, yeah, but there's a couple of bowls to come. He had about three or four feet. Yeah, right. But you know, the blue ball holding here. Do you think? <laughs> oh, I think Bundu is holding yeah. that. Jack, yeah. I think Damo. Uh, <laughs> it's missed under. I wonder if he had missed that, he Just may have a got one, a result. It? It's, I have a, it's pretty close for this. Could be one, could be three. No skips with one to come. Mm. Saltonis to lose from here, in my opinion. Yeah, they've really got to just keep it tight now, don't they? Yep. The, I guess the... Uh, the rink to worry about is over there with Nathan Wilson. Don't want him running away any further. No. 
Gary draws another one next door. And makes a couple down. Did Dane get a number out of this? That's the question. Well, if he somehow even if he uh, pushed that blue bolt yeah, through by it. It's kind of locked in a bit, isn't it? It is a bit. He's more likely to back cut it in. He's not playing it. He's Plenty trying of his to own bowls to, to play through. He's, yeah. promote promote. he's played yeah. this pretty well. That's a good shot. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Could, three now. could be three. So I think we'll see uh well if there's any risk to a weighted shot here. No. Nick just had a run on the next rink. You'd have to miss by a long way for this to go south, yeah. I think. He could get it out. It could bounce out. They've got two balls out on the left there, or the right, our right. The red and the blue. Mm. It could bounce out there. Yeah, that's what he's, saying. he's just saying that now. Exactly what he's saying. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Good eyes for a lead, Gus. <laughs> I'm definitely not a frustrated skip. I'm very happy doing what I'm doing. Who gets this? Mm. Well, but he could he could have could the blue be so shot. Like, yeah. uh, could the blue be the shot? Measure out. Yeah. I don't know. The ball that went through is further than we think. Yeah, I think it's a measure for shot. See the point of that blue bowl sticking out? That might be just the difference. It is. Yep. One Altona, I think. Okay. Yeah. One Altona. Good result. Probably missed what he was mm. going for. And Twist is just saying that Womble's been burning. So that's always a nice thing to hear and yeah. when he goes back and looks at the live stream to hear that from, from yeah. Ben Twist. It's good to know. Thank you. He's doing it again tonight. We should put a time code on those comments. He's doing it again tonight. There you go. Yeah, yeah that's right. I mean, there's a lot to say they don't look at it. But I reckon there's a lot that do. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, they're stepping this one out again, going at it. Yep, bring it back. But it's interesting, um, I watched the I watched the first half of the MCC Melbourne game you played about a month was it that month ago? Mm -hmm. I just watched that, I mean knowing we're gonna play Melbourne again. Um, you know, it's just interesting just to see the different rings. Yeah, right. You know. I do my video okay. sessions. There you go. Too short. They've, mm. they've gone too short rolls, so they've spotted the jack. Right. So that means now Altona can put the mat wherever they like. They're just leaving it where it was. Mm. Well, Shrena, I hope you're well, mate. I think us, uh, we played Bandura about a month ago. Dino was using these aero evolves then as well. So. Yep. I'm not sure when he played you guys, if he was... He played us using uh, those ones. a week or two. Yeah, well, yeah he was yeah, using them. So he's yeah. had those uh, yeah. evolves for some time. Yeah, yeah I think um, Dean's got a deal now with Aero. Okay. Right. Yep. From Henselite to Fantastic. Aero. Well, maybe you just doubled his deal. <laughs> you never know. Still think Henselite make the best goals. Are you on a deal, Chris? No. Deal or no deal? No, definitely no deal, yeah. <laughs> Lee says he's seen the light. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lee. 
I don't know. I don't have that. I've got one set of bowls. I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, whether anything else is any good. Can't go past a Dream on XG, mate. Especially in no. the state. No. No, they're very reliable. Yep. Yeah, for the Greens in Melbourne, they're a good all-round yeah. bowl. Yeah. You both use XGs yeah. as well? Yeah. 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 Especially if you're playing a front-end position. Um, it's good end, Brad. Well done, mate. Yeah. His he's, he's, last three, four ends, he's stepped up to the plate because he knows Bunder and they, you know, they're in the chase and he's doing it. Loving his work ethic. Wants the jack in the ditch here. He's caught him on a, on a drive. Expert. Far away. Ooh. Oh, he's got the jack in the ditch. Here we go. Draw off to the ditch. We'll show some skills. I was sitting here looking at our electronic scoreboard and I just looked up and the actual scoreboard's sitting at the end of this <laughs> rink. I, did, I hadn't even noticed it. Yep. I thought, how old does that look? <laughs> it's the same as ours. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Is that just luck? Oh, he's done a, a fantastic shot. Good shot. Probably yeah, only a foot from the ditch. Yeah, it's a good ball. Right on where the jack is, so... And they're throwing the bowls out where no one's been. Three to call us uh, on the end rink, so... Virginia Gap, <coughs> slowly. What Bandura has done in past years, and I think <coughs> I'd suggest that they do it this year, is their second half is generally very, very strong. Um, and uh, they'll finish games off strong. So oh, well, we played them at, at their home ground, and we were 25 shots up, and we dropped across our last four ends. We dropped 16 shots, so yeah. they definitely got it in the tank they to have. pick up. Yep. Yeah. Pick up those numbers. Yep. Look at this. He's got another one in there. Two rippers, Mosey. Bradley liked it. Got the big high five. <laughs> The rain's still coming down. It's just been, must be two hours worth now. Yeah, we're back. And, and us sitting under here under the balcony, nice and dry. It's quite warm too. Yeah, oh, I'm a bit hot actually. Yeah. yeah. It's pleasant. Yeah. Don't get too excited. I think we'll get drenched tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ruin my story. <laughs> Do you like watching bowls, Chris? Oh, I do, especially at this, yeah. at this level. level yeah. yeah. Of course, uh, you know, you'd rather be playing, but... Chris, you're a bowls watcher? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Uh, you know, one of my favourite weeks away is Champions Week. Great effort, Bubba. At Benigo. Yeah, but we're usually watching you. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, oh, you shucks. watch... <laughs> no, I love it because it's all good quality yeah. and, you know, it's it's... It's good watching good bowlers play. Yep. Those poor commentators have got to commentate up there. Eight hours a day commentating on bowls. Is that what it is? Mm. Yeah, it's tough. Poor old Jimmy. How's Jimmy going? He, he went away, didn't he? He's got a boys weekend, he's I think. He's got a lads weekend. He's got a lads Jimmy. weekend. That's it. Yeah. Hope he's having fun. He did say, don't bother ringing because you'll get nothing. <laughs> yeah, I did notice that. <laughs> Good try, Damien. Nah, you're off better off. You're better off being in the pit than short, yeah, really. Yeah, especially when you're already holding a couple. Yeah. No, nothing for short here. Nah, you've got you to give it a chance, don't you? Uh-oh. Jinxed him, I think. I mean, all these bowls are capable of drawing to the plinth, but with this rain and that, you've just got to give it that extra shove. You can see Damo did that out of the hand. Just gave it the extra nudge. Yeah. 
Let's have a look. He doesn't look far away. Wow. That's a great shot. And Just the other thing about that is it's easier to correct back than up. Uh, yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So first one in the pit. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Just take a little bit off. Yep. Once again, Fergo is under some pressure. Yeah. He's come up with a good so far. This is probably his hardest shot of the night. There's a good head brewing over on the end rink. Just sense something here, guys. I think Fergo will have a lot to say about it. Now, I know his balls will turn, but I think that's gone. Gave it a chance. Again, that's experience, though. He's out there. He's yeah. You can sit a bowl. You can, you know. You can correct down with his next That's time. it. That's it. You, you don't know what it's going to do out in that left-hand corner out there. He hit his line perfectly, so. He did. Mm. So is Lukey Holt? No, I two think down. he had yeah, one or two down here. Nathan trailed to Jack, so. Right. Oh. Benny Lockett, what a ball, the Benny. Has played an absolute cracker. Three down to four up, four or five up. Brilliant shot, B Love. I don't know how he didn't manage to get on the TV rink again. This he's been on twice this year. He must be paying someone to move rinks. <laughs> oh, mate, he's a he's a fantastic player. He's Benny. a gun. Absolute luxury if he was your third every week. Yep. Three down to five up. He's converted over there. So eight shot turnaround. Unbelievable yeah. shot. Here we go. Config. Let's have a look at another champ. Oh 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 oh. He just needs it to come back. It's just drifted it's out a bit stuck there. Out there. Indeed. He gets back to the peg. It's getting claggy. Oh, oh. Fell in. Wow! What an awesome effort. It's a big ball here. Trop will do something about this money. This is a big ball from Dean too. Like this really sends a message. If you can yep. finish it off with your last, he's done it. He's yeah, done so it. They're important. Those ones to add. It's going to cover a, what's happening over here. Yeah. Well, Luke Allo drew shot, so gee, this is tightening up now. I thought but Altona were home, but Bandura have shown the chopper miss. Have shown their resilience. He did say they, well, he'd expect nothing less actually, home in the wet sail. They'll fight hard. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's only six shots in it now. But you just don't want any numbers called out. Mm -hmm. Chopper's got another ball. Two bowls he's got still. Okay. Yep. Uh, Chops put one down. Uh, it was Brody. They just looked oh, similar. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Cousin. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good. Same he's driving over there. Oh, he's got nothing. Uh, no, he's missed. He still looks, looks to be four down still. Solid start, Lenny. Brad again. Brad's had a run of about four or five ends in these conditions, just really getting close. Eight shots to margin, mate. That's close. We're not starting to sound like those AFL commentators that are talking games that are 10 gold games oh. and talking them up still like there's still a time. No, this is... Uh, this is close. I can feel it. D-Max drawn for six, I, I think, mate. So, mm. and Josh Collis uh, missed with his first drive. And I don't... 
much like the head he's got. Yeah, it's pretty ugly. He needs yep. to, needs he's to only got to hit there. one of those front bowls and go off somewhere else. So I'm just drawn to that rink because if Altona get a big number, it's... Um, well, they yell out six and all of a sudden they're, they're yep. away again, you know. And that ruins all the good work, you know. Not that we're cheering for anyone, but we want a close game. Yep. Yeah, Josh is choppers driven. He's, he's some taken out. two out, I believe. He's taken two out. It's three down. Okay. T Max got one left, so drawing for four over there. Can touch the jack for five, but I think he'll be happy to draw, draw another. Wait here, Millsy. Yep, good shot. Important ball to add here. Yeah, I think he has. And he's no. Oh, I think he fell, he fell against the bias. Mm -hmm. They're the ones you want to add. Three, was it? I'll tell you something. Dean O'Neill's rink now has got a chance to really have some impact on this game. They pick up a two or three here and start make a little mini break. That's something we didn't really see happening. Yep. I feel like we're playing, Tris. It's getting exciting now. Yeah. Yes, it really is. I feel like we're the uh, 17th, 18th and 19th competitors on the green. Get our chance tomorrow, mate. Yeah. Yeah, don't play that. That is the hard bit about watching, actually. I know. It can be exhausting. That's, That's better. Hard. That's better for yeah. them. Yeah. That's a good ball. Let's set that down. There's a four to Dane's rink. Four it was. Okay, so he must have got in. Yep. yep. I thought he'd fallen out, but it's a big number. That puts him in the lead, yeah? Yep, blast end, two up, blast end, Dane's rink. 21-19, yeah, right. Gets the uh, overall back out to double figures. Bundy really trying to fire themselves up. They've got to dig deep here. I don't want to be careful with this head. They just want to fatten it up a bit in some way. Then again. Hmm. I'll tell you what's nice watching this game too. Like it's a close game. They're having a good tussle. And it's played in really good spirits. And just watching the banter between yep. the Altona and Bandura guys. Yep. It's good spirits. Demo. Too far away. Well, he's mindful he doesn't want to leave anything jack high. That's right. Leave it hanging like out. Like, they've got a tough head to play to. So he wanted to make sure that if he's going to be... Okay. Well, here's like something. Mm. Okay. I've had a couple of results go their way. Yep. On this rink. That was a fairly important one. Yeah. Uh, it looks like second, doesn't it? Yep. yep. It's yeah, still I sitting there. I think Dean will be playing the backhand here to yeah. try to come down, sit the second shot. If he even moves mm -hmm. the jack through, it's good. Their bowl in front if he taps that up, do you think? Yeah. And Connor wants to do with his first bowl. Yeah. Like, make it hard for Fergo. Yeah. What? He probably doesn't mind their bowl in front. No, to be fair. no, no. It kind of blocks. Can be used too. Yeah. Here it goes. Mm, he's wide. Just a fraction wide. Mm -mm. Weight was good for it. Rubber's bowl's a good, good guide for a... Yep. Another one in the net, yep. Yep. potentially. Not sure the kitty can get back there, though. You see it's sort of locked in on that bowl. Kind of. Probably end up out. 
Anything could happen, though. Sort of thinking if he hit his own bowl at the front with his last bowl. Ah, uh, yes. Yep. Anyway. But you're right. Could spray either way. Yeah. So what's Fergo want to do? Get another one in there? Get the shot? Who knows what a master could be thinking? Looking for the shot, I'd yeah, say. Like the weight. Trying to sit the shot bowl. Like the weight. He does check. move that front one. He gives yeah. Dean. Dean, you know, look at the jack. No, he hasn't. Nice. It's well played. Kind of got another head. one in the head. Yeah. That's that was what. Dino doesn't take long, does he? No, he doesn't muck around. Old he, Jack is the call. Well, he he knows the weight. He just had to tighten it up, and it's just got to get down. And it's no. that's a fairly big miss in the. Like he would have loved to have got that, and he was close. Yeah. Fergus is saying he uh, doesn't want any jack movement, so he's just going to draw the shot. One down's good here. Yeah. Just playing the main board. They're at that point where they're, um, it's interesting for the viewers, they can't see it, but they're actually watching other rigs yeah. and what's going on. It's so they're waiting. Yeah. yeah. So there's a bit of that going on at the minute. Yeah, Ferg was just waiting there to see yeah. what was happening next door. Good effort. So one. Um... Season's sort of coming to a close, guys. Uh, what what are your thoughts? Have a break? Do you go into tournament mode? Australian Open? What, what's what, what's your thoughts? Uh, I think, yeah, it's just at the moment is uh, trying to play well in the finals, I yeah, guess. And just concentrate on that? Yeah, I think so. Yep. What tends to happen, though, is the, the season can end abruptly and suddenly you go... Well, what am I going to do now? <laughs> we put so many bowls down at this point, it's not really about, no. the, you know, quantity anymore. No. It's a really about practising the, the shots that can win your matches. And yeah. yeah, look, it's all about the pennant and hopefully yeah. playing finals. It'd be good to have a rest, to be honest. We've had a lot of regionals, a lot yeah. of club stuff. I'm yeah. going on 13 days straight, mm. you know. Mm. Double headers as well. Yep. I guess it goes into... For some people, they'll be playing the UBC and yep. regionals, group stuff coming up. It's up at Moama oh, yeah. this year. Yeah. And sometimes going out and playing in a tourney with some different people, playing a different position, playing for a bit of money, a bit of fun. Remembering and have fun. Yeah. Right? yeah. Just, with your mates. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you hopefully your team on Saturdays your mates too. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, but it's different. You need, to, you need to go back to basics sometimes too, you know. Relax a bit. I, I often used to say sometimes tennis is like can be like work because depending what you're doing, but True. you do work at it and you do go out on a Saturday. It sometimes is like going to your job, and you do got to have fun. You do. And I feel sorry when I hear people say they're not enjoying it, and I do hear that sometimes, and I go, "Well, maybe you shouldn't be doing it." Yeah, reevaluate. You know, if it's no longer playing. fun. <laughs> like if it's not fun. Yeah. You know, I mean, I used to love going to work, so I like going to bowls too. Yeah. You know? Close. Let so it go to strut. So you used to like going to work? Yeah. You don't like going anymore? I don't. He doesn't I know go. I'm retired. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you still Come working. on, Chris. You just do so much. I thought you were still working. <laughs> I'm working, but I'm not getting paid. <laughs> oh, well, you were working for yourself. I did my anyway. tax like four years ago. Uh, are, they, are they still there? Yeah. I'm sure that they can still do it. <laughs> no, I finished uh, finished up at um, when the pandemic hit. I yep. just decided yep. that it was probably probably been time for a couple of years before that, but you know it's a good time to leave the practice. As good a time as any, I guess. Lucky yeah. you. 
Yes, Hamps. Hello, Chris. I hope you're okay. I heard you were unwell a week ago. Yes, I've been playing some Tuesday nights with you guys too. Not enough books. Just can't get enough, eh? No. Chris is at Richmond Union. Yep. Yeah. Good fellow. I think I have a COVID too. Like, there were a lot of people that changed their priorities. Like, yep. Some people have chosen to do different things, both work-wise and yep. recreationally. I think it's allowed people to really see a little different perspective about some things. I think we have yep. a bit lost sometimes. I mean, you know, just for me changing clubs, you know, I've just never done it before and it was just, it's just been a real, whether it's a challenge or whatever it is, I've just met some fantastic people, people I would have never met before, you know, and I think... It's been great for your bowls. Yeah, 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 no, they've be been fair. really supportive and all yeah. that, so it's been good. Playing good bowls. So these, these hands are starting to, they're a bit looser than they were earlier. Yep. Yeah, I think that rain Why is, is that? really the, the rain. rain. Yeah. I think it's really taking its style a bit. It's not. It's not a green you want to be chasing on now, is it, Chris? No, and I think, I think with the score the way it is, Monday you're probably realising. Yeah. They can't bridge this gap anymore. And the more it rains, the less likely. Yeah. So Dave McKinnon drops a one on the last end, so he won, wins his rink by one shot. Twenty-one twenty over Josh. That would have been a great game too, mm. D Mac and Chop. Yeah. He's been very solid this year. Both of them have. Dane. Yeah. Yeah. Good bowler, Dane. Yeah. Had the pleasure of playing with Dane in the Vic Open for the mixed. You Just won it too. We did. We did one year. See, yeah. you're always getting with those good bowlers, Tris. <laughs> <laughs> you won't play with me. You know, we won it. Dane this and Dane that. <laughs> 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 Poor Gussie. Jeez. We won it that year. We you went did. back the next year and we didn't even win our section. <laughs> I from know. From the penthouse to the doghouse. Yeah. <laughs> so often so That's bold. Yeah. It shows how hard it is to do, though. It is very, yeah. It's hard to back up, yeah. yeah. He's a good fella, though, too. He's a very nice person. He Dino. is. Quality on and off the green. Oh, you gave him good starts. I know that. I watched a lot of your games. Yeah. But you look at a, a Lee Schrainer and, and guys that do back up all the time and you've yeah. got to tip your lids to them. He's very close here. Yeah. yeah, he likes it. He, oh, good that's good He's played, good he's, he's really worked, he's just played good, hasn't he? I mean, to play that sort of way, it wasn't big, you know, just, it's almost just over the draw. Just, I think it's one of those, those moments, like, there's been a lot of times where Altona could easily be a lot more down, you know. You have to remember all the times Fergo saved yep. early, and yep. Yep. they did get a couple of very good results. This could easily yep. be a ten-shot rink win, absolutely, um, easily to Bandura. So that's how it goes uh, in this this game sometimes. I reckon Ferg saved about 12, 15 shots in yep. the first few ends. Yep. Turnarounds, you know, shot turnarounds. Two two premium results as well uh, yep. from weighted shots. So. But uh, like w like we know, you know, one day it goes in your favour, <laughs> and the it. next weekend uh, can't buy one exactly. the following week. So it makes our sport unique. So Chris, you're playing tomorrow. Who? Yeah, we've got Lily Dale away on the carpet. Okay. So well, that'll be. Uh, I'm predicting in my predictor ladder that some of those teams down the bottom might just eke a win out somewhere. That does tend to happen. Yeah, definitely. You never know. It's so always hard too playing on on. Uh, Artificial yeah, service. You know, they might be thinking, well, if we're going to go out, let's go out blazing. For sure. You know? Nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Two good shots, Bubba. Good so, shots. Um, looks like Mark Casey and Nathan Bush have won the Dandenong tournament. Oh, wow. So Congratulations. Well Pretty uh, formidable uh, pairing there. So well, I'm sure they'll be buying drinks for all the team tomorrow night. Definitely. Three grand. 100%. Yep. That's the way it has to work. End of season breakup, so... And Bushy, we didn't get through, so I expected at least one drink. Nah, good pairing that. Yeah, it'd be pretty hard to beat those two together. Yeah, I mean, Great just shot, Dean good Hope. shot, Dean. Lilydale have got a little bit of work to do, haven't they? But I mean, they're such a they're such a good club, they good are. people. Josh is just asking something on here, but I was talking to Vicky today. Like, they're probably one of the the bigger clubs with like, women. Yep, that, yep, you know, are. Jess Wallace yep. is yep. skipping in the yep. club side. Fantastic. 
Hickey Smith's band. Yep. You know, they've got a good crew there. Mm. Um, unfortunately yeah, for some of those clubs coming into... In, they didn't get a chance to recruit, really, um, uh, with COVID yeah. and that. It was hard. Yeah. Um, and I know they don't like to sort of feed off each other out there. You know, they're pretty close, a lot of clubs yeah. out there and that. Um, you've got some strong clubs out there that people are very loyal to, and I think that's a good a good thing. Yes. So it is hard to get people to travel out to that side of the, you know. Yeah, it's it is. It's a long way out, you know. But there are freeways and motorways. And oh, it just went on him, didn't it? it went yeah. Quite yeah. Just a few forehand runners. Narrow. But those turning bowls have, have got him some good shots today. Yeah. They're just gripping early now. Yep. Maybe you could swap them in and out, use the Tigers <laughs> for the draw and go back to the yeah. XG for the running shot or something. We well, can do it with a stick, apparently. So you can use this. Yeah, they're all pretty drenched through now. Yeah, another good shot there. Mm. I see something similar. Ferg just came over and said it's like rolling a block of ice down. Right. They're so slippery. Yeah. Well, it's just been relentless, mm. the rain. And there you go, even the mat's slippery, like, yeah. then you start flipping the mat over. Yep. And he wants to, well, he wants to win his ring. Yeah, I think. He's, he's got this. Yeah. Oh, he's killed it. I don't think he wanted another great ring. Shot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he wanted another ring. That was a great <laughs> shot. At least they've got a chance to, to yeah. win their ring now. Yeah. yeah, it was a great shot. I think they're pretty... Pretty well home on the So what was Bolt He switched then? hands then too, so oh yeah, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, like forehand yeah. runner and then backhand runner. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what Bolt Lean was. Two, he had to get both out. But he needed, he needed I think he four. Yeah, yeah. So oh, you would probably take the, the kill there, start again. Wasn't really set up for a number I couldn't see anyway. But David be that professional. He wants to come down here, not only get the team, he wants to win his rink as well there. Yeah. There's a few questions on the live stream here. Josh brought it up. Um, Josh Sanders from Lilydale. You know, ha any ideas on how we get young people, more yeah. young people into bowls, you know? I think we're doing, we're running school programs. We're um, doing quicker bowls at the moment I know in our area. The so Jack Attack stuff. Yep. Um, I know Bowls Australia were up at Moama running their guys through all that. I, I think you've got to utilise the tools that are around. I sometimes think we get a bit isolated in our clubs. Um, you know, ring Bowls Victoria, ring Bowls Australia, get the guys out there and make them work for you. That's what they're there. You know, yeah, that's right. That's what that's we're paying them to do. Yep. And um, and get a program with them. The clubs that are... I was out at Moorabbin playing their uh, Jack High tournament the other day. They're a club. They won their small club of the year last year. They work their butts off. Yeah, right. You know, they just work, and that's why they've been... And they've brought that club back from the brink, you know. So, and also, go, go to the other clubs around you and talk. Swap ideas. You know, we're a community. That's right. A lot of volunteers make those clubs to go over, don't they? Um, that's a pretty good start from Brad, but he's just not happy with that one. And I think for your out of suburban clubs, try and gain um, leverage with your cricket and football clubs and stuff. Because um, we talk about young people into the game, but I think the 40 to 50 year olds are the ones that are most attainable, really. I'm not sure we're concentrating on that enough. You know, they're the ones with families, hard, you know. Yeah. But everyone needs a break. You know, a bit of sport. It's good for you, good for your health, mind and body. Indeed. That's better from Lenny. He's corrected well here, I think. I love his strut. Yeah, you know <laughs> he, he knows when he's close. You just know it. It's a good shot, Lenny.
You've been on a TV rink this year, Chris, have you? Yeah, I, uh, when we played MCC the first time oh, yep. at home. So I was uh, playing second for RTs then. Yep. Oh, how good great's that? Uh, yeah, it was a great experience. I'd never played on a stream before, so... Yep. You enjoy good. it? Yeah, it was. Good yep. to go back and, and watch. And it's nice. People are very kind and they yep. say, uh, well, you know, you bowled well and all Definitely. that sort of stuff. I mean, it's not easy to do. I think once you, you you sort of forget it's all there, and <laughs> once you get in the, the flow of the game. How do you find it, Tris? Yeah, I think what Chris said, like, once you get into the game, like, you kind you of forget. just... I think so, yeah. I yeah. mean, I had to laugh because we were away in Tassie last year, and they switched over and started live streaming our rink, but they didn't tell us. Right. So... <laughs> Right. I was getting all these comments about standing in the way, but we didn't even know we were on the live stream. <laughs> like it's you not fair, is it? Know, it's not fair. Surely. <laughs> but, you know, like, I think, yeah, it's okay after a while, whatever. The place, what about you? It'll get better with experience as well mm. with the camera. You don't realise how yeah. not close First you time. can stand. Yeah, 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 so it's quite narrow. You were on the, the Friday game against us. Yeah, I was away for... Uh, with sickness, so I got to watch, and you played yeah, we pretty played well. Alex Marshall. Yeah, you played very well that game. Yeah, no, it was good. Yeah, no, very enjoyable against the Cramby boys. And yeah, uh, there was only that one one shot that Alex there got a converted. The and six. Yeah, the six. Yeah, that was probably the only yeah. difference in the rink. Yeah, but no, it was good. I thought you played very well, Gus. Thanks, mate. You've had a pretty good season, I think, haven't you? Yeah. From what I could yep. have seen. Yep. How did you find it live streaming? No problem. Um, I was shit myself. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> Tell us what you really think. Yeah. Well, you know, demo. That's a good. But as you said very quickly, you put you get your first bowl on and yeah. and you're away. Yeah. Um, and it's only a natural feeling to. Oh, hundred percent. You know. Um, it's a natural human instinct to feel is, that way. That's right. Uh, I know one of our players last week. You know, was a bit apprehensive, but played very well. And, no, it's great for your confidence in your bowls. It's a new experience that, you know, how many times do you get to play on TV against Alex Marshall? I mean, that's just something how exciting. You just, yeah. If that's the end of my career, I just go, thanks very much. I've yeah. enjoyed the ride, you yeah. know. Well, I know we, like, because we were, you know, we had him at our place a few weeks ago yep. when they came across and MCC gave him a shirt <laughs> and I said, well, you never know where that's going to show up, you know? That's exactly right. It could be somewhere or in maybe Scotland next, on a live stream. Maybe next year. Yeah. At the club? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know. It's just great for the game, honestly, of internationals. Ah, yeah. And he's not efficient for a reaction there, Gus. Yeah, I did give you a reaction. <laughs> did you like that? Uh. <laughs> um, Division 1 clubs vying to go up to Premier League. Have you been casting your eye over that? Uh, sort of on, on the... The first two sections, I think, you know, Mooney Valley, Glenroy. Yep. They're your usual suspects. Uh, I'm not too sure about the eastern suburbs. You know, I think it's usually um, like Croydon and Yarra Bay, Glen. Yarra Glen. Ferntree Gully is supposed to be pretty good. Yep. Um, there's a couple of other sides, I'm sure. But you know what it's like in Division 1. Super hard to get promoted. And it's really whoever plays better on, on the day for those finals. Well, I think when we all played... Premier League last time together, six or seven, eight years ago, where it was we won Division One against um, Yarra Glen in an extra end. And you'd actually finished yeah. fourth that season yeah. on the ladder. We so did. We won our last seventeen games. Yeah, it's to incredible win our, what, what uh, we were lost our first five games that year. Yeah, yeah, just incredible. Couldn't do that ever again. No. And that's a bonding experience, Trish, isn't it? Where, it is. where you just spend a lot of time with each other and you believe in each other. Yeah, and I mean, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Being mm. it, like winning as a team. Yeah, so team of 16. I mean, I played a lot of basketball growing up. We used to go away and play tournaments and go on a bus, and like, that's what that's it's all about. Shot. You know, team sports. Sure. That's a great shot, yeah. yeah he's drawn one there. Take some weight here. Ooh, it's a tight line. Yeah, I'm not sure he's oh. played enough weight on that line. Yeah. Not just bounce through this hole a bit. Oh. Mm. 
Opens it up there for Fergo. He's played well. He's done the job. He's stepped up yeah. to that spot today and done well, Bubba. I think Dino here, if he can trail mm -hmm. the jack, mm -hmm. it's worth four shots. Saw him play one of these earlier in the match. Forehand trail. We did too. He did. Yeah. It's a bit deja vu -y. Gary Ball just said, must have had a good coach that year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For those people at home that year that we that Gary Ball was our coach. Yes. <laughs> we did stay in Prem the next year. Yeah. Did? Here he goes. Here he goes. He's got to move it probably it's a yard. It's coming. I'm not sure he's going to move it far enough. Mm. He's not. He's, he's might draw the shot. Oh, fell out. Yeah, he might be then second. he's fell out. I reckon he might too. Yeah, I think he probably got second shot. All right, it's hard to tell from here. Is there a chance he can get both the bowls out? I mean, he's got the backest as well. Might be, might be inclined to, to go bigger. Dino's last bowl. Take them both bang, out. Bang. Yeah, he's got mm. three thirds mm. and the backest. So. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Yeah, what he, I think what he doesn't want to do is is get the jack just a little bit. So the, quick, go full the quicker the better. Yeah. yeah. We'll see if um, I might get one right tonight. So. <laughs> well, you've been doing the scores, and Tris has been doing the camera work, and I've been adding the lollies. So <laughs> that sounds fair to me. Winning. We've got some action. Just for those people at home, there's a bit of a pause because once again they're just looking across, watching the other rinks, seeing what's happening overall. And drawing balls. And drawing balls. Ball <laughs> he needs those new pants that MCC boys were wearing with the. Yeah. You know, they, they look pretty handy, the, the new design. Yeah. They're different, aren't they? Yeah. Here it is, big oh. weight. Oh, he's got the no, front. He's clipped it. Oh. It's about four forehand drives, he's missed narrow. He's definitely hitting the line on the draw he with is. the extra turn, but, but I don't just think those weighted shots. Yeah. Maybe if the green was running a bit freer. Yeah, they're just turning real early. Just, just gripping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's going to get a second look at it, uh, depending on what, what happens here. If you, if you turn his last ball on the jack. What could he make, Chris? Oh, could, could easily be four or five four. if yeah. he turns it far enough. Oh, his weight's very good. He just didn't get back. Well, that's not a bad home, is it? Not a bad home at all. Good, good weight for that shot. Hmm. Uh, Daniel Joyce comes over with a small towel. Yeah. It's quite a large towel, actually. <laughs> Help her go out. Yeah. There's nothing like Dylan used there the other night. A couple of weeks ago. He had a beach towel he out. He had a did beach he? towel out. Did he? <laughs> Just carried it everywhere he went. What was it wet? Poured down rain. Run. The stream game, yeah. Oh, yeah. Goes again. On a better track. He's got it. He's Get them got both. It. Is the Jack going to stay in? Yep, he's got the back of bowl, so looks like he's going to get one. One. Could be two. That's it. I think they are going to measure for two, aren't they? What are they doing? No. Bit of a recap on the game. It, it was a super game, wasn't it? Yeah, it's been. It was tight. That could have gone either way, all the way through, really. So they got one. Yep. Just waiting for the score to go up. So one to Fergo. Yep. Three shot game. Good game. It was a very high standard. There wasn't, wasn't a bad it? player in that no, eight. Every yeah. player was awesome. Contributing. Very yeah. solid yeah. tonight. In really tough, I don't, you know, it, you can't see it on the TV, but it's um, 
it's been uh, relentless that run. Money boys won't be happy, but you know, not to win the overall. But all you can do is get your points. Yeah, look, I mean, they're playing a very good team, and I, I guess they they would want to win for the momentum leading into the finals. But they they can bounce back tomorrow. You know, this is huge for Altona. I know they Absol need results to go their way, but the, it's the, exact the hardest part was winning. It's the exact opposite to my predictor. Yep. So I thought they'd only get one ring, so they've um, come out and they've had maybe a bit more to play for, Chris. It seemed to be that way. As yeah. soon as momentum started going their way, and there were moments, Bundy had their moments, mm. ten, 10 shots up early, and Tony pegged them back, and then the momentum switched around. So not sure how much to make of the loss uh, for Bundy, but again, they played a very good side tonight. Well, I'd say Melbourne want to win their games because you've got Altona and and Yarraville up behind them now. Um, and it wouldn't be out of the woods for Altona to jump into the four and make some trouble. Not at all. That wouldn't surprise me at all no. with Altona. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. All the pressure's on uh, Melbourne, isn't it, really? Yeah. Yeah. I think they play uh, Croydon, and Yarraville and MCC, so mm -hmm. their fate's in their hands. They win all three of those. They're in. They're in the finals. Maybe if they win, well... If they won two of them, probably but now with this win to Altona, they've got uh, two. Two, you know, we win tomorrow, and they'll have two chasing them, and they can't slip up. Yep. Uh, that's what you want to see in a premier race, isn't it? And the live stream game has not been selected. I don't think I might be wrong for the last game. Um, they've left that open. Okay. Correct, yeah. So that, yeah. Correct that decision. Um, and uh, so that was with the reasoning that, uh, you know, if it came down to two teams or whatever, we can choose which game we do. Seems reasonable. It could come down. No I'm predicting it could come down to Melbourne playing you guys. It could. I was, I was looking at that earlier yeah. tonight, thinking that could easily be like the, for, you know, for us, that yep. could be a big game. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a few different machinations. It could be that. It could be some others as well. Really. Oh. It just depends. But yeah. It might be a, a game for the bottom teams about relegation. It could be or something. like Lilydale Croydon. You know. Or, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I think they play each other, don't they, in the last game? I think so. Hmm. Yes, they do. So that's yeah. Um, so at the minute, we're, um, it looks like the game might be uh, done at 82.65. There's um, two ends to go, so we might just uh, call it a night and start packing up here. Thanks for uh, everyone watching. Thanks, Tris. That was great. Oh, thanks for having Tris me. brought all great the stats game. in. She spoke to all the players last night, gave Fergo a ring. And so done, done our homework, so thanks, Tris, for, for that. No worries. Thanks and for having me. It was a pleasure. Good game. Yeah, Good game yeah it was a great game. It's a great game. Thanks very much. Thanks, Gus. Fantastic debut, Tris. Well done. Yeah. Thanks. See you guys. Bye.